I mean, we're all broke and scared. It's fine. Uh, oh. They can't hear, so you're going to have to switch off. Oh, okay, great. Hi. Uh, John's just uh, touching some audio. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the big flower fight oh featuring your host. <laughs> Today you're making a topiary. Oh, wow, it has to be good. at least two and a half meters tall. This is poison oak. Oh my god! <laughs> I planned on all my flowers touching each other so they aren't crossbreeding. Mm, I have to dig them up. Life is so hard. It is. Oh, the crossbreeding flowers. I think I walked by Liz and said, "Oh, some Gregor Mendel shit," and it was like too much. It's a genetics joke. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, all right then, all right, okay, here we well, go. Well, you'll be happy to know mm -hmm. that uh, the, yeah. the white roses have created purple roses, which are breeding with red roses, which have created pink, which are breeding with yellow. So everything's going bright. That's definitely that's how sweet. color works. I think so. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why would they make it like... <laughs> now can people hear me? Hello. You won't be I able to you. yet. Because life isn't fair. Hello, Kung Fu Fenris. Hmm. Rudeness says yes. And all. Hello. I just want people to be able to hear everybody. <laughs> I think that sounds better to me. You can stand to be a little bit louder, uh, but that's that was sounding Buter. We are Buter. One of the things that There we go. One of the things that I've realized is that at this point, um, because we're all sitting so close together, or at least we're sitting close together and you two don't apply to this at the moment. Um is uh, the reason that people use the headset mics and put the microphone like right here is because otherwise you're just picked up by everybody. Mm -hmm. Omni. Omni. If they're is. Omni, right? Yeah. Whereas Omni, if it's pointing this way, is not gonna catch the people next to you as much because your face is in the way. Mm -hmm. So. Sweet. So, you know, uh, <laughs> it's, Fun audio. audio is a constant fucking struggle. And yet we make it. We and I helped. <laughs> and Eric would help. Yay. I haven't updated the title on the, on the screen. Well, at least it's been long enough that we've done these things that I, like, have some sort of sense of what it's supposed to sound like. Yes. Like, I don't I don't ever know what's wrong, necessarily. We can go, uh, maybe, question mark. Just scores better than before. Well, it's, it's mostly that, you know, the... There's a desire to make the audio as best as it possibly can, and mm -hmm. we have so many things working against us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what worked? Not uh, this has nothing to do with anything about our setup, but like, uh, uh, Discord is working shockingly well for Punchy Book Club. Oh yeah, huh. in terms of the video playback. And yeah, and in terms of the quality of Kathy's, like, because uh, she doesn't have lights or um mm -hmm. like a really intense setup and it's still the video looks pretty good i'm like i'm i'm this is just my pleasant surprise yeah uh, discord thanks mm -hmm. discord. have you gotten like one of the big things i had with discord you know two years ago was that if someone didn't have great internet connection or something was going screwy they would quickly get like robo voice and so i was in a D, &D game briefly and like the gm it would happen every now and then it was just it became really frustrating to try to play because he would just dip out and stuff mm. have you had any of those issues lately with discord not with the two of us no okay um but that might just be because our internet's been fine um, thing yeah. is it could be discord it could be your internet connection yeah. to Discord. It could be your internet connection in general. It could be your microphone. It yeah. could be your computer's no, no, connection no, no. to your microphone. It, was, it wasn't that, but yeah. It could be your computer's yeah. CPU. No, it could it's be the lag. Was on, in, his internet in sucked. Um, it's like, just that everyone, like, we've had Zoom issues where it's like, your internet connection sucks, and we know that it's not us. <laughs> it's yeah, not. sometimes it's like, oh, did we say that? Did we, did we phrase that as a personal attack? We actually meant too many people are using Zoom right now. Yeah. <laughs> Right. The, the robo voice is still an issue on discord voice chat but okay. you have a little bit more if you're the controller of the host of the call or the server that it's going through you have some control over where the server that everybody's going to and based out of is, okay. uh, is located so you can move it closer to the person with the 
crappiest internet and try and fix it. Nice. <laughs> what if you're the comp troller? What? I don't know. Okay. It's I like, like the glitch in the matrix control. theory. And I just also want to shout out really quickly, I'm drinking um, A Tout Le Monde, which is uh, to everybody. Um, but the subtitle of this beer is Megadeth. Um, and I just wanted to shout out Kung Fu Fenris. Rock on. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so thumbs up. That's that's all I wanted to say. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to you, friends. And cheers to you guys over there. For those who drink whatever. Cheers. Water and wine and so on. Cheers. Uh. Uh, Scott, pick a number. Uh, two. So what about, what holiday is it in the United States tomorrow? Uh, it is Memorial Day. Okay. Um, and which is uh, a, a holiday that gets, I think, the wrong attention. Um, so we have a lot of people that are celebrating um, fallen heroes by going to the beach. Um, which I will never get, or purchasing cars, which I will also never get. Um, so, yeah, we don't have Remembrance Day car sales. Yeah, we don't. I don't. I Let's don't know waste why. time chasing cars. <gasps> uh. Cars <laughs> around our heads. With the wind in your hair. Yeah, uh, yeah, because I'm chasing the car. Also, it's the sweat that appears on my brow whenever John references that song, as I feel like it must be the end of an era of some kind. It's like the end of a season or the end of a, you know, story arc. Because Chasing Cars is playing, you see. Mm. It's one of my karaoke songs. Hey. Very nice. All right, Zoom karaoke, here we go. <laughs> Zary, you know. Um, I, I mean, Chasing Cars is, is became famous basically because of Grey's Anatomy. Mm. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll play it when, you know, it'll be the last day that we stream ever. Oh. Okay. So we just, we're just going to all, like, gentlemen's agreement, so to speak, that? that we won't stream after well, that? Well, it's that we'll get banned for using copyrighted material. Ah, uh, got it. So that'll be our, <laughs> our way of going out. We'll also have Jot happen, uh, and we'll have uh, other, you know... To us breaking activities. Mm -hmm. I guess that would TOS be going right out with now. a bang. Uh, hey <laughs> I imagine that this microphone <laughs> picks up the zipper sound. I would guess. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's it, it'd be perfect for that. Uh, so who actually bothered spending experience this time around? See, now I know that Kate has seen Gladiator, so now she understands this. Uh, right, because I didn't know what a thumbs up or a thumbs down was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about, like, Roman Gladiators. I didn't know about oh, a thousand dear. other contexts. No, the, the, the thumbs sideways. And the, yeah, like, I've seen a thousand the people do it. And the, huh, oh, no. So yeah. three, so two, one. <sighs> Yay! Oh. Yay! This is the best. This, look at that. Look how well Miyamoto does it too. <laughs> you think uh, it's a perspective thing, but it's actually, it's actually not. It's actually not. I bought Actor Four. Hey. Yeah. Able to affect them. Um, Mortels. You know, one day you're going to buy something innocuous like Actor Four, and I'm just going to be like, no. <laughs> and then what will happen? And I will Begin. change my thumbs up to a thumbs down and become. <laughs> Shamed. I don't know. Animal and Wing <laughs> Two is going to be the one that John that will break the John's back for sure. Animal Ken. Yeah, Animal Ken Two exactly. Mm -hmm. Ken Two. Uh, well, then I guess you are the only person who is Aragorn's favorite. Oh damn time. Yes. Not <laughs> black. But it's time to let us know what the hell happened last session. A month had passed since her previous session. Um, and it was the day of Beltane. Yeah, the Motley were all decked out in their spring finest, or their, their spring finery, anyway. Um, and, you know, preparing to greet various guests to Beltane. The first guest was a rather unexpected character. It's been simply because we don't know who they are. Uh, the... Uh, uh, um, 
Tabby Cat Puka. Chrysanthemum. Who is a journalist for nocturnal emissions. Nighttime paper, apparently. Yes. Evening news. Big fan. Because <laughs> uh, she th was market. told that there would be news here soon. Um, we sort of said there won't be, but you're welcome to stay for the party. And uh, got ourselves ready for our guests who started to arrive. I believe the first were McAllister and Helena. Mm -hmm. um, and they were followed by Fala, Sir Zeron, Kaylee and Paspaganian, Polly, Gus and Aiden, and Countess Ware, and Granville. I believe are all the guests that have arrived thus far. That's perfect. Um, uh, any any highlights? I, I certainly want to highlight my play of the game winning uh, interactions, uh, Brom's interactions with his sons. Uh, he's a proud father because they're good kids. Countess Thank Ware you. and Sophia had um, a nice heart to heart and Countess Ware was saying that she thinks that Sophia and Zeron should um, implement a task force of mortals, uh, of enchanted mortals who can essentially act as scouts between the mortal, mortal, the mortal world and the dreaming. Uh, and also gave her a pep talk on how to win over Duke Granville's approval for their match. Don't leave the obvious things unsaid. Yeah. It's good advice, yeah. actually. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. You're both humans. Sorry, I'm not, I need <laughs> no, to good. say the things. Um, Sometimes you just gotta say it, you know? Yeah, there were, there were little conversations here and there. Patches spoke with McAllister a bunch. Um, but uh, I think the big thing was that there was a little speech by Sophia and Cesaron. And yeah, Sophia made a speech um, essentially acknowledging and thanking everybody who had helped her and Zeron um, get to where they are today and also just stating their own merits and why they deserve this happiness that they have found for themselves. Uh, also, Zeron is now a Baron and Duke Granville approves. Duke Granville appointed him, no less. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He approves of the match and made Zeron Oh, a I see, I see, I see. Yes, I can. Baron. <laughs> what if he gets like a fancy coat with that? I hope so. Or like, I don't know, an ice cream sundae or something. <laughs> Do you get like a reward, John, for becoming a baron? No? Okay. <laughs> you don't necessarily get holdings. This I've learned. Uh, you, the, so the, the traditional prize for a, a, a knight is a sword. Um, and then it kind of goes up from there. There's like scepters and orbs and... I mean, well, the orb is really if you're kind of like head of a church. Right. Specifically the Church of England. Mm hmm John, can you talk? No. Oh, you're I'm, not being, I'm you're muted. muted. Yeah, he clicked his mute button for some reason. Some whoops. Uh, there are different uh, things that you're given. You, you can be given a sword as a knight. And then it kind of goes up to being like a rod or a scepter or a sword or whatnot. Hmm. Pretty sweet. Well, you know, cool I things had, uh, happen. One of my first board games I ever owned was called Outrage, where you had to try to steal the crown jewels from the Tower of London. It was really oh, sweet. Wasn't that called the Tower of London? No, it was called Outrage! Exclamation <laughs> point. Why was it called Outrage? Because it's a fucking outrage that you're trying to like get in there past security, I guess. They were like, this is ridiculous. There's no way you can, what do you have, a rope and a disguise? Come on. This is an outrage. I see. I should check that it wasn't. Speaking of outrage, Ripley. No. Hi, you're not wanted here. <laughs> can you be gone? You're That's not wanted here? She's probably oh. trying to climb on all the things that she shouldn't. She she should. is. It's a Just thing. Why does she Ooh, stink? Six silver balls. Oh boy. My god, balls around the rim? Oh my god. Rim balls. The rim is not chased? What the hell? 
horrible. Outrage. Thank you, Kung Fu Fenris. Anyway, that's what happened last session. I want to know why why your cat smells. Um, she has stinky breath, just generally. She she gets a little bit of Ella's leftover food, which is like like canned food now, um, and it for whatever reason it's just very stinky. Um, and I guess they don't brush their teeth. <laughs> no, you. I guess we should. You can get a little thing that fits over your fingertip with little bristles on the end, and you brush their teeth. Cats love it. Oh yeah. Not all. Ripley probably would, actually. <laughs> they wouldn't try to bite it or anything. Hashtag not all cats. Exactly. I don't know. Anything else that we need to bring up before we... Uh, there's some talk over who is going to get the... Um, uh, there's a... Counter countess position. Yeah, there's a vacant... County? County? Yep. Yeah. County. <laughs> In Cross's Shadow. Yeah. Which is where yeah. you are. Right. I realize that, that you know, people may not remember exactly what the terms are for that we That's use, fair. but you know. The, the island of Montreal. Um, but Patch has managed to dissuade uh, Lord McAllister from from sending Helena or letting Helena go, I guess. Take that county, so that's pretty cool. Take that county. Quacha. Punctuation is important. <laughs> good here, Ripley. Good. <gasps> Count Pook. Yeah. It's kind of not the worst. Kind of not the worst. That's a great endorsement, isn't it? Kind of not is. the worst. It sounds like a Puka endorsement. Well, I just mean that, like, speaking as Brahm, who doesn't know who Puka Jutsu is, like, I know it could be worse, I suppose. You know? What does Brahm not watch Twitch? No. <laughs> I have been told that a twitch is typically a bad thing, so I try to avoid them at all costs. I'm going to launch my own platform, stoic.tv. <laughs> what happened to that nice chap, Justin? <laughs> ah, yes. Nixer. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, I know that's a thing. <laughs> Rock solid. Dot TV. <laughs> Dot TV. <laughs> mm. That is fair. This television show is terrible. They're just screaming all the time. I am Brom.com. A classic. I am Brom.com would be a cha- would be a website that I would visit. Kyoko will then, of course, naturally start I am the brombomb.com, which is, you know, a competing website that will <laughs> garner 20 times as much traffic. No. Papers. And she would actually make it so that I am brom.com reroutes to I am brom. Oh, yeah. I feel like Brom respects women too much to watch Walker, Texas Ranger. No. No. That's right. I went there. Chuck Norris Shit. sucks. He did. Uh, I have actually been referred to as the Chuck Norris of the changeling world on many occasions. Oh. Many. <laughs> <laughs> Brom really wants to kick people in the face with boots. Yikes. I mean, fair. It's not <laughs> true. Oh. Are your cats okay? Yeah, Ripley's making things challenging, but we're doing okay. <laughs> Look, it's the return of the Chaos Cats, okay? Yay! And now they can only be responsible for dunking on half the people on the stream <laughs> instead of three quarters or 100%. <laughs> it's true. What is the math? Not something I miss about streaming from here. Right, Ripley? Yeah. Folks, we have cards. Uh, these cards are for our safety. They're not for your safety. You have other options because you do not have cards, but we have cards. Uh, these cards allow us to make sure that we can play and we can play by taking risks because we know that we have a safety net that will catch us if in case somebody slips and falls. Green means I am totally okay with what's going on. Even if I don't look like I am and I enthusiastically wish to continue or even push further. Yellow means 
I'm still okay, but I'm approaching my limit. Please be warned that if this grows in intensity or if this continues on for a long period of time, I may no longer be okay. And red means I need to stop. I need to stop immediately. We either must retcon what just happened. We need to change the subject, but we absolutely need to talk about what the heck's going on. Um, however, no justification ever needs to be made for playing any card. I also have these cards. That's because I can use them too. Guess what? The GM is also a player and they get to feel protected and loved too. You in the audience do not have cards, but your options are as follows. You can always message me. You can private message me. I am in the interest of full disclosure. Uh, normally I would be the only one who can see it. At this point, uh, it is, there's a possibility that Kate can see it, but she isn't specifically looking at the monitor, except that she's you know, mugging for the camera constantly about looking at the monitor. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, or you can message Erwin. Erwin will take your stuff and then pass along any notes to us, uh, anonymous or not, depending on how you feel. Um, I'm gonna point out that this has happened. Um, we have received messages. We do care about them and we want to read them. The thing is, we can't necessarily accommodate everybody. So there is always one safety, that, well, safety tool that you can use, you can leave. Uh, we don't want you to leave, but you can always drop out of chat, drop out of the stream entirely. Um, we would appreciate you letting us know because you know if it's something that's easily changed, then we can change it. But just remember that your safety is paramount. Double thumbs up. Kate, your glasses look amazing. Great, I don't have to type. I was like gonna type, I was like, thank you. And I'm like, Hello, thank you. Uh, no, they're the ones that I've had for about a year now. Uh, but our lighting is lower, so, uh, but thank you. Is that all that it took, was to just lower the lights? Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't do this normally because like there'd be a light between us, but uh, yeah, maybe. There'll always be a light between us. And his name is Scott. Oh, thanks. I'm more of a lighthouse. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, it's in it, I guess. Good job, Scott. Good job. Thank you. You ever play the saucy version of Truth or Dare? Saucy. I mean, look, here's the thing. There's really two versions of Truth or Dare that exist. The first version is for little kids who've heard about it and their dares are things like, I dare you to go upstairs during a sleepover or I dare you to <laughs> uh, jump from one couch to the other one. And the truths are in invariably things like, who do you like, and then giggling, and then there is no answer. And then there's when adults play. And when adults play, uh, dares are inevitably things that push the boundaries of not only your physical limits, but your emotional ones. And the truths are inevitably who do you like, and giggling, and no real <laughs> answers given. <laughs> The reality of Truth or Dare is that it is a glorious promise that's never fulfilled. The idea that, you know, a dare could be made that pushes somebody to the point where they want to do something, um, but don't have the courage to do it yet, and then the peer pressure of everyone around you gradually allows you to do it. Or the truth section, which, let's be honest, there is no way to prevent somebody from lying. There's no way to ask a question without necessarily making it either completely innocuous or completely uh, emotionally rough. The game of truth or dare is a glorious promise that is never ever fulfilled. The only time that I can think that potentially it could be is if you arranged for a dare to be made beforehand, such as, hey, 
could you dare me to do this thing that I've always really wanted to do? But that way I can blame it on the dare. And in that case, truth or dare, what it's really doing is revoking consent to the game. Uh, and then you might as well just ask. And yet this game still persists in our social consciousness, our memories. It can be a lot of fun. Or not. But maybe this is just my own experience, having never played a game of Truth or Dare that was worth anything. My games of Truth or Dare usually ended with somebody daring somebody to do something else that was grossly illegal, physically impossible, or both. Uh, in which case, it's not all that fun. I don't know. How, how have your Truth or Dares games gone? Uh, my, my only real recollections are actually of the uh, non-saucy variety. Like, I have many fond recollections of the kitty version that you described. My sauciest version was when we had all just seen Lord of the Rings and we were daring each other to take two pillows, go behind the couch, and pretend to be two random characters from the movie. Having sex. Oh, having sex. Got it. Yes. Uh, As in you would make the pillows have sex? Yeah, you had to create the audio for both of them and then everyone on the other side would have to guess who it was. So it wasn't really truth or dare, but it was like, I dare you, and then you would whisper who it was to the person and then they would have to go and do it. Hmm. So you'd be like, I dare you... Wait, wait, would two people go behind the couch or just one? Just one. So it'd be like, hey, Liz, I dare you to have Tom Bombadil and Gimli get it on. Exactly. And then you'd go behind the couch. Uh, we have a new game for the stream today. Changing the streaming is canceled. Uh, like, my axe! I had to do Aragorn and Legolas, and that was not my least not favorite. But it is your favorite no, parent. Legolas, exactly. what do your elephant's eyes see? <laughs> a Balrog of Morgoth. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know. I remember for some reason in like drama class or something in high school, it, it somehow devolved into playing Truth or Dare on the stage. And all I remember is they're like, yeah, like bite your glasses sexually. I was like, like that's literally all I remember. But nice. I don't know. Sounds I like you like... didn't take the hobbits to Isengard. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't take any hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> well now you know just how lame one of us is and how well two of us and how cool two of us are yeah cool got it got it was this cool I Liz had the cool really truth cool. or dare <laughs> and you apparently had like mild you know pg rated truth or yeah. dare where scott and i were just like <laughs> so you know I dare you to go upstairs and get a cookie from the fridge. <laughs> oh, fuck! Fridge cookies. I was 26 years old. <laughs> I dare myself to do that every day yeah, in our apartment. On, I dare here. you to come over here and eat some food. <laughs> yeah, Eric, in the fridge. I heard it as soon as I said it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you keep ice cream sandwiches, which is basically two cookies and ice cream in a freezer. I can't, I can't even with your cat, man. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to keep her, like, occupied. Oh no, it's fine. I just, I, do, I still don't understand how your cat consents to be held like that. <laughs> she has a foof. <laughs> Freezer cookies are excellent. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, she, she could be part raccoon, part skunk, part ragdoll, doll, it's all combined into one. Ah, uh, but Thin Mints, are they considered a cookie? Details. <laughs> Coop <Coop> day. <laughs> Thanks, zesty artist. It's funny. It really <sighs> wow. Wow, 2018, John. <laughs> Who's laughing now? <laughs> I mean, look, in 2018, I think people had started farming, but this also is a league reference, so, you know. Yeah. <sighs> uh, 
there's a, a general sense of um, glasses being raised at, 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 after these pronouncements. Um, you see that Sally, who is sort of lurking by the door, is very politely clapping her hands, except that if you look very closely, she's not clapping at all. She's doing that. Um, Incisor, who is by the, by the buffet, is very happy, uh, or at least seemingly so. Uh, and she is celebrating by dunking uh, one of Claude's prized giant burritos in one bite. Uh, but yeah, there, there's uh, a crush of well-wishers that happens. Uh, Chrysanthemum, like I said earlier, just looks like a, as if everything has suddenly come up Millhouse. Mm. Um, <laughs> and she's, but she no longer has her press hat, so she isn't pulling out any journals or whatnot, and she just seems pleased to be there. And uh, Kaylee approaches um, approaches Sophia. She has a bit of puzzlement. Something wrong, Kaylee? You were speaking as if you were incorrect. What do you mean? Was there a problem? It felt like an act of contrition and a challenge all at once. When there are houses involved, alliances that could be made or destroyed with a marriage, one has to do these things a certain way. And so you are marrying Zeron for political gain? No. Not at all? I mean, it certainly isn't a bad thing to be coming of our marriage. Joining the houses of Liam and Fiona in this way is beneficial to both sides, I believe. She just sort of looks you over and there's this intense feeling as if you are being probed. Uh, I, I feel need like you have a question for me. I'm gonna need you to tell me, not roll, but tell me what your charisma subterfuge is. Um, Maybe this is good. Decent. It's nine. It's really good. <laughs> it's decent. Nine. <laughs> You are very important. And he is very important to me. You will take care of him. Of course. He we'll has take care a, of each other. He has a tendency to make decisions. Was there more to that? <laughs> no. Right. I don't really know what you mean. I would hope he has the tendency to make decisions. He may not make the right ones. It's up to you to make sure that he does. I don't know if I'm necessarily the gauge for right or wrong decisions. She laughs as if you were telling a joke, but her laugh is just, ha! <laughs> You and I both know that we would make better decisions than he would. Not in every situation, I don't think so. In what situation would he be better? I... He... He is very correct in how he applies magic. And he doesn't let his emotions get the better of him. Oh. 
and she looks at Zaron. Zaron, who is currently shaking hands with Talus and Zister, and then going over to Patches and being like, "Is this okay?" And like, Arr. he's very strange, but perhaps that is why he is good. I think so. Do you know that he makes paintings? Mm-hmm. Aren't they beautiful? I suppose. Really? They don't affect you at all? It's colors. On wood. They're dreams. They're dreams that you can see. I understand that it takes skill, and I know that there are many who would be very taken by them. But you're not one of them. No. There's other things that he does that are very impressive, but this It, it is difficult to see the purpose in this compared to the purpose of him holding a weapon. To me, this is what life is. But to you, life is about something else. And I that's... suppose that I have other things to focus on. That's why everybody is different. If we all responded to the same things in the same way, then we would just be a sort of blob. Does that make me lesser? No, of course not. I could try this painting. I would not have you try any form of art that you weren't passionate about. Then your painting would be hollow and meaningless. For you, if if, bat if battle is art to you, then whenever you fight, that is your painting. And battle you is a necessity. Do you not find a certain beauty in it? There is beauty in the execution of a fight. There is little beauty in the fight itself. In the execution of a fight, then. To see one's pack move as one, it, it, it can approach perfection. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. He is perfection, and... She, straight, she straightens up a bit and she turns and she walks towards Braum. Uh, Braum is currently <laughs> attempting to, like, get the crowd to cheer for uh, Zeron and Sophia. Three, three cheers, cheers for, for the... Hey, listen to me! <laughs> no, no, but really, three Hello. cheers for the happy couple. Hip, hip! Hooray! Oh, I'll do it anyway. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> hip, hip! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> or is it like one of those things in like Pirates where they're like, the ship is ours! Huzzah! <laughs> huzzah! Huzzah! And huzzah! then like they go on for like forty-five seconds. And you're like, like, does One anybody? Huzzah for cannon, typically. When JT and I don't know how to end a session, one of us will just start going hip hip hooray, <laughs> and that's become like our code word to wrap mm. things up. But it's the the group cheer. Like it's, it's a thing. It's this thing. is Thanks, this is someone who has experienced the effortless, flawless execution of tactics. Uh, indeed, I suppose uh, I have on the battlefield from time to time executed tactics well, although I'm sure you would agree, Kaylee, that sometimes a battle plan requires adjustments on the fly, as it were. All too often. I suppose congratulations are in order, then. You have the correct meaning behind your 
union. Sorry, what was that last? You have the correct meaning behind your union. I'm glad you approve. You would do this without my approval. Yes, I would. Would you do but this I'm without anyone? Sorry? Would you do this without anyone's? I'm glad I don't have to decide that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it without the approval of somebody whose absence we would feel. It's loud down on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Uh, Brom, you see that Sally's eyes just start burning twin holes in your forehead. Now, normally I wouldn't ask this, but because it's Sally, I have to ask. Literally? No. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, just check. I'm just checking. <laughs> it like laser eyes or something. Um, I will walk over to her. Just like a nice amble. Does this mean you're not so special? What do you mean? You're not the only one who's going to be married around here. I don't think that was my only defining characteristic. It doesn't hurt just a deal. No, I am happy for my friends. There is very little in the world that would bring me more joy than the knowledge that these two will be happy together. And what about Patches? What about Patches? Well, she's not getting married, is she? No, but I imagine that uh, perhaps she is choosing not to. Perhaps she is interested in pursuing relationships in a different way. I, I couldn't tell you doctor. That's a lovely feeling coming from you, Van. You're not hung up about your, your other friends. You're just you're just happy. I am. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Is there a way to make you happier? Um. Well. At this moment in time, I plan on enjoying uh, Beltane. I plan on reveling in the coming of a new season. And... I like the way you revel. What does she mean by that? Like, like, is she like... How is she looking at me when she says that? I'll see if I can give you a, a, a duplicate of this. Oh, please, dear. please, thank you. Cool. That's all the information I'll need. Uh, I jump off the balcony. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I have I'll sky craft. It's okay. I'll find you when you're down there. <laughs> oh. I'll fix it right up. <clears throat> do you plan on joining the, joining the festivities, Doctor Saley? Or oh, I should I'm say, do you have invited. any plans? Of course, you're invited. I meant, do you have any plans? My apologies. Plans. Plans of a way of getting a bit faulty. Again, it depends. I suppose at a time like this we have to simply just let go and see where the evening takes us. Right. I can get behind that. Dr. Sealy, you're from um Sapphire's Eye. Sapphire Eye? The Sapphire Eye. The Sapphire Eye. Thank you. What do you make of Countess Weyer's involvement here tonight? She is, of course, happy for the Lady Sophia, but she seems... Um, Hellbent would be a bit too strong, but she seems very interested in... Have you ever tried to tell Countess Weyer what to do? No. I remember this one time. A suspected heat stroke. Being outside too long and getting a bit too um, involved with the dancing and the partying and all that. And I 
Matilda uh, electrolytes like Gatorade and uh, a, a nice nap. You should know that I don't really experience a whole lot of a whole lot of people acting against medical advice when I'm around, yeah? I'm a bit persuasive, yeah? I have been persuaded a few times myself. Relatively sure that Weir was out there again partying within seven minutes. Hmm. She can't stop. You're saying she won't stop. It's not her she character. Forges her own... She forges her own path then you know you might see her as Mary Poppins but she still is someone who's a mover and a shaker not just on the dance floor but for her house yeah well, I, I trust her implicitly just I thought you should know no, her what? well her, her travel abroad, her knowledge of all things dreaming. It's been a great boon to my son's education. Sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. S then what? You're worried about why she's here? No, I'm not worried. Simply curious. Seems a fortuitous time to drop in and be happy for one's friend. So she lifts herself up and she shouts out nothing because she is a slur, but she tries to shout out oi patches and then she hits Brahm on the chest as in like I'll help out yeah I'll, uh, I'll, I'll alright uh, I try to motion to if patches can see me otherwise I just kind of like stand sure. like t on my tippy toes above the rest of the crowd and I go patches sorry it's just out Patches. I can't was where. Is she here for non-altruistic reasons? Non-altruistic. Hmm. No, I'd say she's here for altruistic reasons. She's here to help someone else. I mean, I think she's probably also here for the party, but... Cow's way never does anything completely altruistically. Well, I mean, there's a clock that Zister's making for her. The hell she just want for it without a clock? I don't know. Why? Sister's making Ask it. Her. It's very nice. Who cares? It's well, a ruddy clock. Apparently she cares. Didn't she have a bleeding phone? Something crafted by the hands of Sister Flex would be a great work of art, Dr. Saley. I myself would be very proud to own something of his creation. Maybe she's or actually yours. here to track you down and watch your every move. She would get behind on that. You. You know, now the that you've left of some of the experiments. her freehold, you know, she, she, she's lost her ability to spy on you. That's actually her secret motive. Look, all I'm saying is she might be able to do things that are for the good of everyone here, but she's still a Liam, she's still a Countess, she's got other priorities. Yeah, she asked me to come visit when I can, so I will. She's making good use of her uh, visit here. I mean, she was also letting Brom see his sons. I like how you said Len. She's multitasking. Oh, you're allowed to see your own sons. For which I am very grateful. You have more permission to see your own sons. I would assume she wouldn't keep them from me, but that I also can't summon her. She's not at my beck and call. That Surprised said, you haven't found a block of wood in a crib somewhere. Fine. Well, you're welcome for freeing you from where's treachery, it sounds like. 
just having a laugh. He's fine. I mean, he's fine. He's fine. Just I'm to be clear get... to both. Yeah. Oh, to be clear to. Yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> Go. There are so we many other places to be. He's fine. I'd like to join um, Ramen Patches whenever it's a good moment. Now would be the time before I walk away. Okay. <laughs> Haven't seen y'all in a while. Congratulations uh, on Real and Thank you, Dr. Sealy. If you, I don't know the rules here, but if you need a blood test or to determine that you're not brother and sister or anything like that, I could be of service. Uh, I don't think that I appreciate was... it, but you know, I think we're all right. Well, I'm not a lawyer. Come on. No. And she slinks away. I will point out that in some places you do have to actually get a blood test before you can get married to prove that you're not. Yep. Mm. Well, official right. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. been a while since we've spoken I just is everything all right yes of course right. why wouldn't it be I don't know well I am happy for our friends our parties usually end up having something more to them so I just thought I would I'll keep my eyes open. there's nothing that you're keeping from me in an attempt to make sure I can enjoy myself because I cannot enjoy myself if something's happening that I don't know about so are we all on the same page I have nothing to report Good. other than my congratulations to both you and to Lord Zeron. Thank you. Lord. Uh, that's sorry, that's not necessary, is it? Baron? What do you call Baron? A lord. Okay, lord. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I imagine this Enjoy the night. If shit happens, then we'll deal with it like we always do. But you'll tell me about it, right? You won't try to keep you'll it. You'll probably me. hear about it. There. But also, okay. if I can deal with it in two seconds, I'm not going to call you over. But I want to watch. <sighs> Lady Sophia, I believe this is a night of celebration and a victory for both you and Zeron. And all of us here at the spark and in Cross's shadow more generally. I have heard tell, Brahm's doing his best like lean in gossipy pose. Uh -huh. Like he's doing his best like so. That's really obvious. <laughs> he is incredibly. Um, I've heard tell that uh, a certain Gwydian knight may be on her way to Cross's shadow to become countess here. Exciting, a certain though. Gwydian knight is already here at the party? She's a Baroness. She is. What are uh, you talking about? And I've heard tell that that would have terrible optics considering the whole conversation we had about Fiona trying to keep their holdings. So for Gwydian to come and steal that away. I've already spoken to McAllister about it. Are you talking about Lady Helena? I was. Yes. I was. I see. I mean, if you want to just you know, rattle that wasp nest the second it's cooled down, you can go for it, but I'd rather not have to replace those doors again. I, too, do not appreciate property damage, except in very specific circumstances. <laughs> um, thank you for seeing something that I could not, Patches. 
So let me get this straight. Lady Helena was to become Countess here? I don't know. There was some talk about... All I heard was, hey, she's thinking about maybe taking over here. And I said, that sounds like a bad idea. And apparently the answer is no. Because Duke because Granville just got over being furious that we were screwing up his securing Fiona Holdings. Why would giving Cross's shadow to a non-Fiona not piss him off? Would he not see it as a potential alliance between Gwydion and Fiona? He didn't seem to have any interest in a Gwydion alliance. He was interested in Dougal. He didn't even care about Liam. Oh, but nobody cares about Liam. We're used to that. But and if I know... Lord McAllister and Lady Helena, I would imagine that they maybe didn't discuss it with him in advance. So. Whatever, I didn't, you know, I, I have no power to stop them. I just said that sounds like a bad idea. So it's up to them to use their own brains. But they're talking about moving the whole Red Branch up here. So that they can completely crowd Zister out of here. I don't believe anybody would want to proud Sister Flex out of this freehold or this city. But I can appreciate how an excess of nobles might send the wrong message when it comes to the mission of the Spark. And they should probably have their own headquarters. I mean, apparently Mac is tired of home fires, but I don't know whether the Spark would be the appropriate place for them. Mm -hmm. They aren't red. The, the Golden Braid doesn't stand for crafting. No. But Does wouldn't, would that mean they would be installed here? Where would they I don't go? know. It sounds like a half-cock idea, so I assume they're figuring it out. Why are we talking politics on Beltane? Because this is just what happens. A bunch of different houses get together and people start drinking and start talking about politics. They just go hand in I thought Beltane was about the less talking and the more doing. The doing happens in celebration from the talking. Hooray! Uh, politics! <laughs> we're almost at skinny dipping time, by the way, so... and I also have some more politicking to do first. Get lost in the maze time, so if you have more politicking to do, I would advise getting it done soon. I have no politicking. Tell me more about this maze. There's a maze over there? Is it, uh, complex? I think you might have trouble. Cut to Fala. <laughs> she started eating her own arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lady Sophia has directly challenged my, like, ability to complete this maze, so Braum is turning square on his heel, and he's marching, like, Braum, right over there. Braum, wait, don't. <laughs> no, it's all right, Lady wow, Sophia. Wow, that sounded so sincere. This. <laughs> I will conquer this for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, great. Uh, you. I assume that when you were doing this, that was, was like, patches backing away, or are you yeah. trying to get people to follow you? No, no. I was trying to like. Bye. I've got some politicking to do. Bye, patches. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can catch Granville. And amongst everyone else needing to talk to him. I mean, he's glad handing his way through the various members of the Spark, uh, except Talus. Oh. Yep. Do Granville, if I could have a moment of your time. Of course. I'm going to indicate to sort of walk along the edge of the, like, just, you know, the the gardens or whatever. So like around the outside of the yeah. maze? Yeah. So as no, you start... No, not around the outside of the maze, like the the like balcony edge, right? Yeah, which no, I think the maze is pretty big. Yes. So it's probably... Okay. Yeah, okay. so it's still cool. probably around the outside of the maze. So as you're walking along, every once in a while you might hear like Brahms' footsteps. And... <laughs> no, not this way. <laughs> Hello, mother. I don't think I will see you again. I am completely lost inside this maze, and I just wanted to hear your voice one last time. Oh, Send good, message. another source of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eat Bala. Just to be clear. I 
wanted to apologize. I was upset for having felt misunderstood, but now I realize that I it was I who had not understood you. What didn't you understand? Your station and all the work and obligations that come with it. I had gotten used to the time when you were only overseeing Cross's shadow and the time when you were waiting to find out who had tried to kill you. <laughs> Times when he didn't have everything else to worry about. And I took far too much of your time and expected far too much. Wait, when did you take too much of my time? I just hadn't respected everything else that you must have going on. Yes, there is a certain amount of responsibility that comes from being a duke, and at the same time that gives you a certain amount of power to exercise so that you can get around to the job of being a duke. I don't remember telling you that you weren't welcome. Absolutely. I... just wanted to acknowledge that I hadn't been considerate. Now that you have dipped your toes in the waters as it would be you'll begin to find out that it isn't simply about protecting the status quo or protecting ourselves it's a lot more complicated than that there's a responsibility that comes from being a liege just as there is responsibility for being a vassal. It's a two-way street. There just aren't as many lieges as there are vassals. He looks out over the... Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't get wind like Zeron gets mm -hmm. wind. So... the times before. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Just between friends. Anytime. Why this? Why become a knight? What did you have to gain? Recognition. People would say, oh, you've done so well for a commoner. Oh, blah, 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 commoner this, commoner that. And it became a cap, it became a limitation. And it was frustrating to hear everyone say that I didn't want title, that they had decided things for me. So this was out of spite? No. This <sighs> was shove. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who needs a new duke? <laughs> I don't. Duke. You, duke. You command duke. my words as well as others. Dougal was the right fit for me. It really is. And Trust me, you don't want to be Fiona. Is it so bad? No, of course not. I said you 
don't mm. want to be Fiona. There's a difference. It felt like the right, the right move for me. The right choice, the right time. Yeah. The right future. I finally had a chance to not be putting out fires. I've been thinking a lot about the future recently. I heard rumor you might be moving back to Quebec City. Those are rumors. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that Fairleth would just keep stepping on my toes. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like there's been one too many attempts on my life, one too many schemes falling apart around me, one too many times that my freehold has been incinerated. Is that not the life of Cassine? We all... We all fall sometime. Some sooner than others. Are you giving up? I'm not certain that giving up would be the term that I would use. Is that any time somebody retires in your family and you're just like, well... Retirement is one thing. If, I mean, you were sort of retired, that's not what I had understood you were implying. No, if that's one... Mm. Come on, you can say it. This is a conversation between friends. I don't, I'm just sucking at words right now. Um. <laughs> Hold that thought. There we go. Just, just look out over the horizon. That's what I do. Look, you're a knight now. This is going to become important. You have to somehow pose every once in a while so that everyone knows. You could be the avenging knight. You could put uh, your foot up my, on the... The poses I would choose wouldn't uh, shock the... Thank you. <laughs> shock the... Uh, shock so good. The she. Have I ever appeared shocked in your presence? Once or twice. Well, when I clamped those nipples... Oh. <laughs> I took that car battery. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> uh, Kyoko approaches Sophia and Braum. Oh, hello. What a lovely stole. <laughs> Thank you. Is it real fur? No, it's the biggest <laughs> shit around. <laughs> 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 That's it? Smooth sailing from here on in. No, no, we have to plan the wedding. I said it was going to be in a month. Yeah, why? Because I, I wanted him to move here sooner. Aw, that's sweet. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> so you're planning your wedding. Are you having it here? Yes. Are you going sister to... will probably kill me, but yes. The sister's going to kill you anyway. <laughs> Just one day in your sleep. He'll need, like, the purest, most beautiful spleen in the universe to power one of his devices, and he'll find it in yours. I do have a top-notch spleen. Oh, Don't God. I know it. Yoko, you <laughs> and I back. will guard Lady oh. Sophia night and day if that's what it takes to prevent Sister Flex from taking her spleen and her life. <laughs> you, you do realize that it is possible for you to remove a spleen without killing somebody yes but if I'm being honest uh, in this hypothetical situation 
Sister Flex does not seem like he would be um, particularly gentle. You know, we don't need to continue this hypothetical, actually. Um, no, I just want to know, I want to know everything. How are you feeling? I'm, I mean, getting a promotion. I've never seen somebody sleep their way to a promotion through somebody else by proxy. Ooh. I'm feeling good. I got what I wanted. I wanted Duke Granville to accept this match, and he seems to, so that's good. You've put him in a very particular situation. A, a better one than you did a few days ago. Yes. I completely respect and understand that what we... We did not make things easy for him. I don't respect a few uh, things that happened. He didn't I need to break the door. He didn't need to break the door and he didn't need to speak to Zeron as he did. But what he said tonight will go a long way. Have you spoken to him privately? Would you? Yeah. No. Have you? Um, no, I, I did not believe it was my place to speak to him at this time. Rom, isn't it your place to speak to everybody? Your words carry so much weight. Or are those your thighs? I think it may be both. Although, I'm not sure. Some days I wonder whether my words should carry so much weight. But. Um, Kyoko, I'm glad to. Uh, I'm glad to have a moment to ask you, by the way. Um, would you be in my wedding party? Oh. There's, um, look, there's a Major League Overwatch match that day, and I, I don't even really care about the two teams that are playing, but if I don't watch, then my fantasy team's gonna go to hell. Of course, I understand. Perhaps I could record it for you. Wrong. Yes. It's very important. I understand. It's this is also important. very important, though, Kyoko. I was also mm -hmm. hoping that you would make my dress. I don't know if I could do you justice. You have several times before. Of course. Thank you. Um. I mean, the meta sucks right now anyway, and Overwatch, and I, I don't know if they're going to be able to pick it up by June. It's a lost cause, basically. Whatever you're talking about. Yes, yeah, so are we still talking about the same thing? I mean, everybody in Vancouver just quit the team. Well, you know, it is. I th I'll do it. It'll take me six months, but I'm sure that I can get a dress for you. Right. Maybe we could make it a rush delivery. I can help. Uh, that's okay. Why? <laughs> Brom, the scissors with the little rounded edges that you use aren't really for cutting fabric. Lady Kyoko, Lady Sophia, I have participated in my fair share of crafting endeavors before. I do not believe that I am at the same level as the very talented Lady Kyoko or any craftsperson of note. However, I believe that my talents are important enough that I can aid in whatever way you require. Well, I need someone to be the dummy. 
This I will do for you. Although I am not the same size as the Lady Sophia. You're going to have to lose some weight. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a maze to run. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't. How are you? Wrong. Yeah. Thank you. Anything to make your make this special day even Brom, better. can you go get us a drink? Yes. I will return. <laughs> he didn't return. <laughs> <laughs> we never saw him again, actually. Uh, yeah, so I'm off to get two drinks from Claude. Brom's actually gone off to star into the new Canadian drama The Littlest Hobo 2. <laughs> he has a voice. The he keeps on little calling little. me. <laughs> <laughs> Down the road. That's where Brom always be. I, Brom would have a regular sized bindle on a stick, but because he's so tall, it would be very, very tiny next to him. Really cute. Elevator slug level's cute, guys. Uh, Kyoko pushes herself up on her tiptoes and gives Sophia uh, a soft but rather long kiss on the cheek. Mm. I'm gonna, like, just, like, cuddle the, the back of her hair. <sighs> You know, my wedding was amazing, and my honeymoon sucked. And yet, I still love every moment that I get to spend with him. Just don't forget that, okay? You too. I look at you and I see just incandescent love every day. And I love you for that. Yeah. You know, we really are lucky, aren't we? And then she hugs you again, a little fiercely, and then she gives just the tiniest nibble on your neck, just a oh. little one. Mm. Not nearly enough that, you know by the way that she are impervious to hickeys? Just, I saw that in the chat. She can't get hickeys. Hmm. If you want to bruise a she, you gotta do it in battle. Whisper. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Uh, uh, love a is a battlefield. Avoid this. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh, Eric would know. Uh, she wouldn't be the one kidnapped or chimerically dead. That would be Zeron. Sophia's a protagonist. Understood. Zeron's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, a deuteragonist? Oh my. Mm. I didn't realize they needed to be gendered. Gendered? Or is Deuteragonist something? Deuteragonist, like so there's the protagonist, who's yeah. like the okay, main character in the story, okay. and a Deuteragonist oh. is <laughs> the like secondary character. Uh, As opposed to the antagonist, who is yeah. the person opposed to the protagonist. Mm -hmm. Thank My you. next order of business when we cycle back around will be to go find uh, a Countess Ware. Chad is the deuteragonist. Oh, though. yes. <laughs> Very true. Oh, dude. So I hear you're getting married, eh? Oh, oh my God. No. God, who invited you? <laughs> I mean, like, I was just I was just wandering around, and, like, this guy was like, hey, there's, like, a party upstairs. And I'm like, party? Rock on. So I brought, like, I brought 20 cello cups and, and one of those folding tables. <laughs> oh. Do you, like, have any beer? <laughs> Yeah, it's right over here. Shove. Ah! Oh no, he his he would sound more like. Oh. <laughs> I love that there's just a stacked up pile of corpses because everyone goes over in the same spot now. Mm -hmm. true. If we enchanted him, he'd shut up. Spot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it's true. I like it. Uh. You can find where at this point. Cool. What's she doing? Uh, she's sort of entertaining herself by dancing with herself. 
uh, to just like kind of the ambient music that's there. She's not being as extravagant as she can be because she's got a glass of champagne that she's keeping full. Um, so just to be clear, this isn't like notebook dancing where you're just like dancing in the middle of the street to no music because... Correct. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm assuming there's background music that Sophia has uh, arranged for there to be some sort of filler to the silence that can happen in conversations. Oh, absolutely. There's tons of music. Mm -hmm. uh, the trees are playing instruments. It's pretty cool. What? Yeah. I'm tripping balls out here. Yeah. Yeah, that tree plays a mean kazoo. There's a tree with a cello. <laughs> you made an instrument out of your children? <laughs> Those are made of wood. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, That's good. right. That's a plastic yeah. cello. Oh, I know. Ugh. Uh, so Sophia's gonna like boogie on over to where and like dance with her while they have a conversation. Oh, hello, darling. Hello. As always, your advice was excellent, and I think that went over well. I'm happy to give it, and I love when it does work out excellently. I agree. I got an interesting piece of information just now. Oh? Apparently there is some talk about installing a count or countess in Cross of Shadow. How to fill that vacuum. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Had you not given thought to the many. I want to do it. Really? I want to do it. Uh. Well, I wouldn't consider there to be very many other people as qualified as you in the region. Right? Uh, an impressive resume. Yes, have you thought it through? I've only been thinking about it for the last 10 minutes. Ah, okay, that makes so much more sense then. No, but uh, it just, it... I don't know. It feels like I could, I could do even more here. Yes, uh... And your ambition is extremely attractive. Um, well, well uh, have you considered the ramifications to your lifestyle that will come along with such a move? I mean, I would have a county to oversee. Mm hmm. And of course, many extra responsibilities heaped on my plate. I understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course I understand that this is a delicate matter and it certainly might not go over well with his grace. Oh, let's forget about that. Let's continue to think about just you at this point. <laughs> and I understand that I would have to move somewhere. Another freehold, I guess. I couldn't... Mm -hmm. But then I think about your idea of, of, of getting mortals involved in in scout missions for us. And I realize how many initiatives could be implemented if I was the Countess and how much that would help Liam. Uh, yes, all of these are very true. You're- uh, You're not convinced. No, that's, that isn't- It's a bad idea. It's not that I think it is a bad idea. In fact, it's actually the most rational decision that could be made. But what, what you are hearing right now is that you do not have a Spencer in Zeron. You do not have somebody who is best at his best by staying in place while you flit off and adventure with your motley and do all of the things that have made you who you are up until this point. You would have to be the Spencer. You could not be the wear. And that's a lot to consider. I would feel 
to a certain extent that it would be like putting a beautiful bird into a beautiful cage. Hmm. Where but are you having it, this conversation, by the way? We're just on the dance floor, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Like we're not speaking loudly enough that other people around us can hear, but I think it's more of like a whisper into the ears sort of discussion. Mm -hmm. So the doors to the garden open up, or the doors to the exhaust, I should say, open up, and a um, a slight, a slight young man walks in. He's got uh, short, pointy, blonde hair, um, and he's got the, this marvelous twinkle in his eye, as if everything is a joke around him constantly. Um, he is dressed very finely in uh, this very long, flowing blue gown. Like a kimono, I suppose I should say. Like kimono type kind of clothing. You have not met this person before. Oh. Um, um, that, and it, it seems very kind of breezy, so it, it's sort of shifting with him as he moves. Uh, and this pisky just effortlessly glides up to the table and then with a brilliant smile just lifts up three glasses and walks right onto the dance floor. He's now got three glasses of what seems to be a very kind of sweet, um, a sweet wine. And in balancing all of this in one hand, just sweeps along and then curls a finger around, uh, wears champagne and effortlessly just changes it for the wine and then hands another one to, uh, to the Baroness. Oh, oh, I was hoping that you would be able to make it. Oh, well, um, it seemed to be very important. Yes. Uh, Sophia, may I introduce to you um, another member of our house uh, who has served quite well. This is Fox. Uh, sorry, one more time. Fox? Fox. Foe. Fox. Foe. As you like it. So F-A-U-X? Yes. Excellent. Uh... Uh... And he, he bows low. I've recently been traded and just takes a long sip of his wine. Promoted. Oh, I like to think of this as a trade. You know, all the greatest sports teams don't get to be that way without making a few roster changes. That's true. Uh, foe, if you like it, but Fox as it is, is going to be assisting um, with the Duke fulfilling his personal assistant role. Oh. Yes, I hear that he didn't actually replace the last one after he became an unwilling blood donor. Mm. Too soon, foe. Still too soon. Yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or went out for yeah. Jonas? Asterix, Jasper, Albus, Definitely Angus. none of those. Absolutely uh, none of those. Jonas? Asterix, Jasper, and Angus. <laughs> Look, I'd watch the shit out of that show. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, oh, Jonas. Perfect. So, that was pretty close. Jonas may or may not have been a snitch because vampires made him one. Mm hmm What they say? Snitches get drained of all their blood. <laughs> <laughs> Snitches get their reward in the afterlife. All right. Was your trek here comfortable? Well, as you know, the trod that leads between the two of our fair freeholds, mm. uh, a pleasant sunset, and there's a, oh. a lovely spring. Well, that's well-timed. I feel like I should be introducing myself to everyone else. I, mm, yes, let me do the introductions between you and Granville, but uh, to give you a little bit of a heads up, and she kind of pivots and like, names everybody in a circle. <laughs> um, <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Um, I would like to hear from you a little bit later after you have had an opportunity to meet with the Duke, just to get your impressions and 
whether or not this will really work in the long term. Oh, of course. I wouldn't dream of not letting you in on all the little secrets I managed to pick up. You mm -hmm. too, of course, my lady. Thank you, Fo. Fox. Fox. Thank you. And he <laughs> takes three steps back and then sweeps his way over to Brom. His memorability is his contradiction. Ooh. I'm gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> uh, you didn't ask what his appearance was. What's his appearance, John? Five. Holy hell in a handbasket. Well, you described him, I guess he'd be high. You should take a few of these. Party is getting too <laughs> hot. He sounds like a Final Fantasy character. Mm -hmm. The way you described him walking in, I immediately pictured Fukujutsu like controlling him from, <laughs> oh, so, from a safe distance. Of, I was thinking of Seymour. Is that bad? Oh, shit. <laughs> and he doesn't not wrong hair, but like. Scott, yeah. Sin is jacked. <laughs> you know, I've heard this a couple of times. <laughs> In his jacket. Um, <laughs> Sir Brom. Uh, and who do I have the pleasure of making an acquaintance <laughs> of? I butchered that sentence. Here we go. <laughs> My wow. name is Foe. I'm here as a, an, an adjunct, a, a personal valet for uh, his grace. Uh, would you mind if you could introduce me to well, that, and he points at like this slab of um, hummus that's just like stretched across the table and like with pita chips just all dotted in there. I would be able to do this for you, of course. You for are indeed the mightiest knight on life. I hope you're not too hungry from your travels. It's a relatively long journey from here to the Sapphire Eye. I know that, but it, look, let me be the first to say that I still see the part in the spring where you scratched your initials into the rock. Hmm. That's, I have, I have fond memories of the Silver Path, I must say. As one would, I suppose. Um, at any rate, sorry, Phil. I'm sorry, sir. I still find myself remarkably unhummest. Shall we? Yes. Let's find some sort of uh, spreading device. Let's slay, as it were. Um, I'm going to go and, and start to prepare, you know, hummus on bread, hummus and vegetables. I'm a big hummus fan, so we'll get in on that. I haven't had good hummus in a little while. I could make my own. You good. You good. And then we'd have aqua faba. Sorry? Maybe it's, is it made from chickpeas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we'd have aqua faba. Uh, yeah. We could yeah. make some fancy Tahini desserts. and garlic and lemon. We could smack that shit in the food processor, pulse Done. that shit up. <laughs> this break brought to you by. I'm very excited about hummus. <laughs> I support you in your excitement for hummus. I will support you from afar as you eat it all. <laughs> Kate doesn't like hummus. Oh. More what for everyone that? else. Exactly. What about baba ganoush? I don't know whether I've had much. It's like hummus, but eggplant. Ah. Not really fun to say. Yeah, but Dio, we don't have queso here either, so... Oh, queso. What are you going to do? That's also something you could make at home, though. Yes. And you, it's You'd hard be to find American how, cheese. Yeah, it's very hard to find American cheese in certain kind of chilies here. Because mm. American cheese can't be sold as American cheese here in Canada. It must be sold as American cheese product. So a lot of places choose not to sell it. Sad. That's fair. Well, it's technically not cheese. Mm-hmm. I think it's labeled as cheese product here as well. 
Just yeah, but Americans are less picky blatantly. about that kind of shit. Yeah. The Canadian dairy farmers are very powerful. Oh, specifically <laughs> in Quebec, yeah. Yeah, they, they've got their teeth and everything, and they, you know, pun intended, I guess. Um... <sighs> John. Yes. As we're spreading hummus, etc. Spreading rumors, spreading hummus. Yes, Fenders, yes, you fucking back. take that back. You Pardon can't me? make queso without it, unfortunately. You need oh, melty yellow cheese oh product. God. Well, you, you can it. if you well, have, like, you Mexican, Mexican cheese, which white are even queso, harder to get here. Yeah, can't get that yeah. shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kung Fu Fenris, I've, like seen, out of the chat. Really I've seen you fight, and I don't want to fight you. I'm not necessarily saying you'd win, but I don't think I'd come away entirely intact. <laughs> Let's go back to the part where most of us liked hummus. Let's go back oh. to the part where we were in game. Mm. Keep mm. it in character. I got it. I would like to um, speak to Foe a bit more about uh, his travels from the Sapphire Eye, and what, you know, exactly he's doing serving Duke Granville. That's an interesting change. Well, following things are made clear, he's looking for a new adventure. He recently has been traded uh, from the Sapphire Eye to Heart's Light in a blockbuster deal um, <laughs> that he believes that, in fact, he is the equivalent worth of one clock now, see, that's, that's comedy. So and a title. It's a really, it's a really nice clock. <laughs> oh yeah, and the title for Zeron. Oh, that's good. Is it time to get back to the party? <sighs> yep. Time for more people to fit and chew your ear. I'm sure. <sighs> Everybody chews. Nobody nibbles. Or we can trust that this maze is blocking the view of the rest of the party. It's not a very good maze. <laughs> <laughs> if he means what I think it means, he means. Dot, dot, dot. Ah. Uh -huh. Good scent. Uh, yeah, so yeah. That that's happening. He the maze is a rockin'. We'll see something new about her, though. <gasps> Whoa! Does that make him more or less excited? <laughs> Could you speak robotically to me? Beep, boop, this <laughs> motherfucker! I like that it immediately curled into a fist. That's, that's my favorite part of that. <laughs> Please activate your vibin rate function. Vibin rate. <laughs> vibin rate. I have to go. <laughs> well, this is so exciting. Okay, keep going. We might get bingo off this. Uh, <laughs> things fade to black. I would assume. <laughs> things fade to black as your arm chokes him to death. Oh my god. It's, ah, yeah, it's only your the shoulder. Head. It's only your shoulder. It's only like. Only a shoulder. And her knee. But that's that makeup fine. is gonna so cool. get brandished on it, camera. It is incredibly cool. I, I guess I just wanna clarify though, Kate, like Patches hasn't specifically revealed it at the party yet though, right? No, like, she's wearing a jacket. Just, she's wearing okay. a Right. Yeah. Yes, the blazer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. David I Carradine, think. I think you're thinking of Kung Fu Fenris. Yeah. Keith Carradine's the guy in the Lizzie McGuire show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's also a class act. I mean, he may also be into certain activities, but we don't. Uh, you know. So we never know. Yeah. Takes a special breed to work on the Disney Channel. Um, all right. Well, while that's occurring, and while there may be one or two uh, bramble scrapes, um, Foe just 
uh, continues to, to ask, make very polite conversation about, uh, first the topic of conversation is himself, then the topic of conversation shifts to swords. Okay. And Something why people might choose big ones over little ones. Well, you see, I appreciate that precision in uh, fencing and combat uh, can be useful in certain situations. However, I've always felt that in addition to one's imposing size, one needs an imposing weapon in order to intimidate one's opponents. And there's nothing quite like watching a troll run you down. Is that something that you see often? A, a troll running you down? been on the receiving end of more than a few attacks, yes. Hot troll on troll action? I'm not sure if I uh, know what you mean. Folks. Are you trolling me in right now? I am a troll, as you mm. can see, so I suppose in a way I am. Oh, you are. And then he slaps you on the shoulder you are too good at this. You must be married to Apuka. I am. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, well, what kind of Puka is she? Well, the Lady Kyoko is here somewhere. I, I can introduce you. So a Gwydian Puka. Yes. So she knows about herself all the time. And others. So she's so self-aware. I can I can imagine how this might seem like a, a conflict, but I can assure you that Kyoko pulls it off with aplomb and grace. She's a plum puka. No, I I don't think that's what I that's what I said. There's nothing wrong with being a fruit. No, I I know that. You see, I'm just kidding. You're one of the more famous couples, you realize, in Concordia. A Gwydian powerhouse, as it were. Um, you seem, uh, you seem hell-bent on trying to get under my skin, foe. Or tease me, perhaps. I am so eminently teasable. Don't worry. We're in good company, you and I. I'm Liam. That's basically a joke in and of itself, right? <laughs> there was a time when I was initiated into House Gwydian that I was taught that all Liam are untrustworthy by nature, and that to be sworn into the house means to betray some small part of yourself. That is what I learned. I am very happy to say, though, that I have met enough members of House Liam that have debunked this, it is no longer an exception that proves the rule. Oh no. You you do have to understand. It's illegal to look this good. Have you seen Sophia? I have, on many occasions, yes. We're, we're motley mates. I'm sure you know. We're just, you know, making sure that we can turn off the dark. <laughs> Hey, that's that famous musical. Isn't it? I mean, here's the deal. Stereotypes exist, right? Sometimes for a reason, sometimes not. But I'll tell you this. That, and she points over at Sophia, and that, she points over at Zeron, who is currently having a conversation with Claude, and Claude is smiling. Um, that, that means only good things, right? I like to think so. Here's the thing. Liam, we're not so bad. You need to get to get used to the idea that sure, maybe at some point somebody in our house might have, you know, done something like make a noble sacrifice of their word to save every mortal on the planet, but <laughs> maybe that isn't even true. Who knows? It's Arcadia, and who has that kind of memory, right? The stories I have heard of Liam himself are 
a bit more far-reaching, if you'll pardon me for the implication. Nobody talks about how good Liam was at making potato pancakes. No one. Never. Is that true of all Liam? Absolutely See, she's leaving. Not. It must be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know the quality of the Sophia Latka. But I should ask her is what you're saying. You know, sometimes it pays to get to know your friends. If you're going, if you could excuse me, I must find Patches. Oh no! Of course, Vo, be well. She is the newest member of the nobility here in Montreal, is that not right? Um, I would imagine, unless there's been another change very recently. Pardon me. Let's go see if I can find her. Is she in the maze? And then he turns and starts walking into the maze. You are not in the maze. You are outside the maze. Oh, I thought she was inside Bing the maze. Bong. It's not a very good maze. It's a plenty good maze. It's not, it just doesn't have bells and whistles. Stop, stop pooping on your maze. Choo choo. We might need to add some things before the real romper begin. Bells and or whistles. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they're upgraded huts. They've got temperature control and solar power. I'm going to assume, at the, at the risk of sounding crass, that this is not what you would call a marathon session no. here. So uh, it's it's not too difficult to, to see how this wouldn't be very long. Mm -hmm. You know, you can resume your... Politicking. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, you can combine the two and it could be politicking. Politicking. Thank you. That's what. I didn't hit the D. That's no. Right. You, you, you got quiet. You can do your quiet. politicking and then you can do your politicking. Yeah. 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 I don't know. She just said it. He said it. In a different emphasis. My brain threw, threw yours out. <laughs> you get credit for the D. Thanks, Aragorn. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I will head out towards the rest of the celebrations. Kyoko has started to uh, lay out a table, and this table has um, various um, various meads or beers, and she has put a sh uh, like a line of fifty shot glasses, and then fifty shot glasses, and then fifty shot glasses, and she has poured a little bit of this into each one of them. And she is beckoning Brom and Sophia over, and Zeron, and anybody who will come over. Ooh, what's all this? And then she walks over and she takes Patches by the, not that arm, this arm. Yeah. And then just starts pulling her along. Oh, you've covered yourself up again. Yeah. Okay. I'm in my jacket again. All right. And then she lifts up a glass. I've never been propositioned by Zeron before. I, I kind of look to Zeron, but I take a, like a little drink as well. And, and Zeron just looks at you, and, and there's like a. <laughs> Zeron lifts up a glass and just looks at it. I... I have no idea what to say. I sort of feel like I've done everything I set out to do. I've and never been married. Chug, 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 chug. Is that you flashing your... For XSD. Okay. XSD. And remains... Stoically quiet. Without, without beverage. 
My name is Fox. Please to meet you. So you are the Dame Patches at Dougal. Steward of the Spark, Defender of Northern Ice. Yes. Oh, other other titles. Um, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Where is the best place to find a drink in Montreal? Well, right now, right here. Fair enough. But I imagine the bar here isn't always open. Um, I mean, as long as Claude is awake or you don't fear his wrath. Don't tell him he can come over here. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> Who is this guy? Fuck him. No folk I mean, it is ah. Beltane. If that's what you're into, Claude, go for it. I am into nothing. That's a lie. Now, as for where to get a good drink in Montreal, there are all kinds of places. What kind of vibe are you looking for? Saley, Saley lifts a glass. I've never been with a traitor to the crown. Oh. Um. Wait, what? I mean, Fala was mm. when we've been together. Does that, what do we think? And, and then, then this roof stoop, yo. Zister walks over. <laughs> And he picks up a glass and just looks at Saley and just... <laughs> and Claude? And Claude picks one up. That's so rough. Who else? Who else we got? Where wanders away, but she's sipping from her glass. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's a little... Oh. <laughs> I need to know. I'm quickly going there. through Sophia's Rolodex. Uh, no, I can't. I'm just making sure that there's a place that there's somewhere to go if things at the Freehold get a little bit Fiona-y. This isn't a Freehold, the Fiona Freehold. Ah, but I've been traded to Heart's Light. Traded? Are you Blockbuster a, trade. Um, I fetch a clock. But wouldn't where getting a clock bring you to her? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, I'm going to Heart's Light in order for where to get a clock. No, I think where got a clock for helping Sophia with other shit. Um, I think you're going to Heart's Light for other reasons, but you're going to Heart's Light. Well, fine. I guess I don't have to be part of a blockbuster trade if you just want to shit on my dreams. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Cross's Shadow. I hear it's a nice place. Yep, lots of festivals in the summer. Uh, you know, nice old old city and uh, new city and parks and stuff. I'll tell you, there's a few things I'm gonna miss. Seattle's best coffee. Rain. We get rain, just not as much. Cloud cover. Let me get some of that. The Space Needle. Oh, yeah. We have an inclined tower. It's kind of lame. Spencer not caring about whether I punch in late. Yeah, I don't know how his grace is about tardiness. You, um... Probably be seeing a lot more of us spark denizens. Oh, are you that important? And he lifts the glass. I've never had sex with someone at the spark. Son of a. Spark. I missed that. What was it? I've never had someone with sex at the. I know. As in <laughs> having sex in the spark or with someone who lives had sex there? With someone at the spark. I believe both qualify. Okay, well, I've had sex in the spark. Where's Sophia's the thing? Sophia's drinking. Oh, it's my coffee. Uh, so the following people drink Zister, Talus, uh, 
Zister, Talus, Incisor. Nice. Um, Kyoko. Yeah. Saley? No, I'm looking. Not Saley. <laughs> really? Not even with Malcolm? Well, maybe they went somewhere else. Maybe they went back to his place. Yes. Uh, Claude, Claude drinks. Bingo or drink? Just checking. Drink. Uh, Zeron should drink too. Z well, yeah, Zeron drinks. Okay, sure. good. I never uh, have ridden an animal. And I like look around. And then Kyoko looks at him and just quirks an eyebrow. I kind of just like blink a few times, but then. Um. Jumped from an aeroplane. You've never ridden an animal. <clears throat> Sophia's gonna drink. That's... No, I've always wanted to... ride across the landscape on horseback. Or perhaps from atop an elephant. Although my understanding is that they're not necessarily treated very well, so I wouldn't want to do that. I've never complained about an oath I've sworn. Claude picks up a bottle Hysteric and just drum. starts <laughs> draining <laughs> it. Oh, I think that's a little low. <laughs> well, I've never had amorous relations with only one person at this party. Okay, I'm looking around, thinking about it. And then there's some, like, thinking going on uh so you've not kaylee drinks only one person yeah okay kaylee yeah didn't you guys uh didn't kaylee, you guys I do know. the thing no no. Okay. <laughs> no what she's a wolf <laughs> what <Ooh. laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding uh, uh well you know that you drink yeah i think so I had to think about everyone that was there. <laughs> you know, you have to go through the whole guest list. I'm like, oof. <sighs> um, Countess. Oh no, she mm. left. I'm gonna have to go find her. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a uh, introductions. All of that. I'll be right back. It's very boring. <laughs> this is what you came for. No, lightning. Um. There's, there's just this one thing that I think we all have to sort of understand. Um. I don't handle liquor well. And Fo just places his glass down, hands it to uh, hands it to Patches and just slides along. He's already weaving just a little bit. I Sweet. would like to sense motive uh, for empathy. Like how do you detect lies? I'm not a Gwydian. What are you trying to figure out? Figure out whether that was true about him not handling, handling his liquor. Perception subterfuge. Huge. I've never played curling. Difficulty. Although I have to admit, the scene in New uh, York is not is quite six. what it is here. Two successes. Always been a dream of mine. Detail oriented, probably not. Uh, he does look pretty flushed in the cheeks and okay. pretty unsteady on his legs. Cool. I mean, he's I not like. Make sure not. No. Sure. Uh, Zeron drinks. Oh, sure. That is all. <laughs> I drank. So I've decided I've been curling. Friends. Is there some sort of discrimination happening against those who enjoy a good bonspiel now and then? I just wanted to see you drink. <laughs> Do you wish to learn how to curl? Requires good balance. <sighs> sure. I, I believe perhaps that any. Any admission of sure that is preceded by an ah uh, 
may not be entirely genuine. Barely. I'll give it a try. The sport really is quite incredible. Uh, <laughs> oh, Brom is Brom is getting a little like animated, uh, having drunk so many times over the last two Yay, seconds. Brom. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Curling is a sport of the mind and the body. It is a sport of both one's own ability and technique, but also one's ability to command and lead a team. I've a never been shouting. in a threesome. I will take this drink elsewhere, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Rom stops talking, starts drinking. Oh. Who said that? Zeron. He should be drinking. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, he should. This one. What the hell? What the hell? With Laurel. Laurel? With the soup in the in the sauna. Perhaps he doesn't consider that a threesome. It no, he, he drinks. <laughs> <laughs> rude. <laughs> so rude. I just thought you looked thirsty, sir. <laughs> oh, as my lord commands, and I like give a big sweeping bow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here I see, go. it's it's happened. This is where it starts. <laughs> where what starts, my lord? I haven't been officially invested with the title yet. Oh, but I can see it radiating off your proud shoulders already. It's up in your hair now. You'll have to muss it up a little bit. I've never had sex with a chimera. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and everyone's We're all, like, stopping and thinking. We're like, shit. Just <laughs> checking! <laughs> what a dude! <laughs> I'm watching Staley. Um, I don't know. All right, all right. Uh, does Mab drink at this? Oh. Mab, uh, Mab isn't really playing. Fair, Fair <laughs> enough. She's, She's, just, drinking. She's just drinking. She <laughs> 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 just drinks every time. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, Mab, Mab's been in a threesome with a chimera. Yeah. And a member of the spark. Was an enemy of the crown. <laughs> yeah. What a crazy bitch. Hi, Abby. Well, love you, girl. <laughs> In all seriousness, I I don't know where this idea of title came from. Oh. And I don't wish to make it seem as if I'm trying to outpace you. Not at all. My friend, I, I, I simply assume you have been invested with what is your due for your incredible actions that you've taken. Rom is being sincere, just want to be clear. My friend, it, it's not as if being a baron in Fiona is even worth being a knight in Gwydion. <laughs> Be <laughs> Now we're closer to being equals. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Whisper destroyed. Okay, all right, not cool. Well, you could not have you be lesser than a woman. I mean... No one can tolerate that. I've never had sex with someone I didn't love. Uh, I'm getting ready, Phil. Rom's not gonna drink. Oh. Wait. No, that's... No, I'm safe. I'm safe. It's all right. Everything's fine. Uh, like, like love, like fraternal or, or whatever, you know. Claude, Claude drinks. Yeah. Um, and. Follow. And Zeron drinks. Sophia's like Charles. It's an easy drink. You made your bed. Why in it? It's in the hut now. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you made your bed. Lie in it, it's in a hut now. <laughs> Collection of I, Tamagotchi love. Oh, wow. I have never sung karaoke. <gasps> Kyoko this... drinks and then picks up another shot glass and just looks at you and just drains it while keeping eye contact with you the entire time. Patches, how Point quickly taken. could we make a karaoke machine and bring it out here? <sighs> 
Okay, fine. Next I was expecting though. other priorities. Um, I mean, I could get karaoke going, but I think that might reduce certain... He's never done karaoke! Tomorrow? Yes, thank you. Hungover karaoke is best karaoke. Hungover brunch karaoke. I will oh prepare a, a couple of Sold. selections. I miss you plan on being hungover? I, for one, do not plan on it. But uh, you if will be, Lady Sophia commands, I will be hungover. Well, if we keep I playing this do. game, I certainly will be. <sighs> Brom, truth or dare? Sure, that's particularly fair, but I will say there. <laughs> Where returns to spectator distance. <laughs> <laughs> Just far enough away to not be asked questions. All right, very good. <laughs> well. I dare you to start the skinny dipping. <gasps> Yay! Um, I. And don't walk you dare up. end the game by just getting in the water. I walk up to Kyoko and I put my glass down and I just start to, oh, I don't know, I'm wearing a silly tunic. I forgot, <laughs> <laughs> I, forgot. No, I was gonna unbutton my shirt. And you get, you take it it's off a tunic. And you, get stuck and you fall over. <laughs> Cause you're yeah, not, it gets not your friends. <sighs> um, And I just nod to her. This dare is acceptable to me. I know it is. Do it. I accept your challenge. That water is crystal clear. And probably freezing. And illuminated from below. Are your children gone, by the way? They're yes. cold. Oh yeah, Polly took them me. to the museum. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Zoo. Oh, the zoo. Yeah, it's like something more exciting. The zoo is like a museum. Animals that are alive. Yeah, animal exactly. zoo. <laughs> animal museum. Fuck. A live animal museum. <laughs> Uh, anyway, something, something, it's cold and illuminated from below. It's not that mm. cold. I'm pretty sure that the water's heated. The cold never bothered me anyway. Do it. I'm stalking off towards the lake. And once I am framed by the moonlight, <laughs> I, <laughs> I take the tunic off over my head. I toss it casually, but not dangerously down onto the ground. I light it on fire. And I swan dive, my best swan dive, into the lake. Yes, that will reveal my tukus and my junk. <laughs> no, I, well, there goes my half a second. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, it's bad, eh? Uh, sorry, it's just a phrasing. Phrasing. Hashtag phrasing. There he goes. <laughs> the pride of Gwydion, right there. <laughs> Join him. That truly is Gwydion's <laughs> ass. So, May the eagle always be so represented. <laughs> this fucking guy. Gwydion's ass. That is Gwydion's ass. That's Gwydion's ass. Gwydion's ass. <laughs> Ours. It's going to say free right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Gwydion. You know, everyone looked at Scott's butt when he got up and walked away, right? Like. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> oh my god. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Helena also, by the way, comes a little closer. Of course. Get out of the water! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, Get out of the water! It's your turn to ask a question! Let's go! You've been replaced by a cat. <laughs> He's transformed into a cat. Uh, we will assume that he makes his way back. You're but... so floofy when you're naked. <laughs> right, yeah, most but... people it sticks to them, but with Brom it actually like pillows out. And it, it hydrates him and all that, like all those stone flakes actually turn into like fluffy fur. Oh, he's like... like one of those sponges that you put in water. Uh, while while we're watching Brom splash around, Sophia is setting up the the glow in the dark body paint Ooh, station. Ooh, nice! Uh, Patches rolls out her airbrush, her air compressor, and her airbrush. Hopefully, it's a quiet air compressor and not like. We got guns. It, it's been put in a sound isolating box. Yeah. 
Okay, these typos tonight, y'all, are like, they're giving me such life. I just, <laughs> just bereft. <laughs> I just want to read them all out loud and I'm so Oh, <laughs> uh, good stuff. My goodness, Saturday. everyone. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, well, if he's going to take a bunch of time. I mean, you're supposed to start the skinny dipping. That implies that other people are supposed to skinny dip with him. We've already commented on the fact that Brom is now a cat. A very fluffy cat. Uh, he's a very wet cat, actually. Ugh. It's this your turn! <laughs> Brom bursts above the water. He's been holding his breath. Does he toss his, his head like Ariel and flick his beard? Yeah, give us that Fibonacci spiral, you hunk of stone meat. <sighs> he doesn't have very long hair, though, so it's like... Nothing really happens. You devastating blue bomber of stud. <laughs> uh, Sophia has brought out the glow in the dark body paint as well. So, you know, that's but now I'm damp! <laughs> that's okay. What the shit? Look! <laughs> there are towels. It's alcohol based. It happened, y'all. God damn it. It's not my fault. It, has anyone joined me in the lake? Oh no. It should have. We should have. But Is it all time? Can I think it is time cross to that line. less clothing all around. We have options for those of you who don't want to get into the pool just yet. There's a perfectly, excellently mediocre maze over here, and there's some glow-in-the-dark body paint. I love your maze. And there's music and a dance floor and lots of alcohol. I have some salvia hidden in the maze for anyone who wants to partake. Well, well that's why Paula hasn't managed to make her way out. <laughs> Piece of candy. <laughs> Oh, a piece of candy. It's clearly labeled so she's, you won't accidentally ingest. She's falling down in like two minute intervals. Oh my god. It's wild. Uh, <laughs> and then it dives into the Holy shit. Oh, good god. Claire clicks her fingers with a casting of Kindle, and her surcoat made of feathers goes up like it's made of flash paper Ooh. to just burn the whole thing away. And then she has like this kind of like gauzy thin linen sort of just oh, like a druid dress that kind of just hangs from her shoulders and is lightly bound with some ribbons but not leaving too much to the imagination hmm. yes very nice very cool cheers to that it's your ready turn <laughs> You're, it's your turn to truth or dare someone, Brahmi. Oh, oh, I like kind of. Well, I start treading water in the middle of the lake. Sorry. Um, I. Uh, People are gradually starting to like move at least towards the edge of the lake. Mm -hmm. Pond. Uh, okay, fine. How's this? Um, try, I'm, I'm. I'm. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, uh, patches. What's up? Truth. Or dare. Dare. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, I could cast protocol to make sure that truth or dare is respected in the context of this game. I prefer consent. <laughs> I, me too. Oh, yes, Yikes. Please. Oh, sorry. Whoa. I don't. Whoa. <clears throat> hmm. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Oh my god, Elizabeth. <laughs> what? That's out of control. Her beer exploded. Oh no! <laughs> Bed everywhere now. Oh, she's oh, like nice handkerchief. <gasps> Excuse me. Perfect. Excellent timing. There. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I. Um, I dare you to steal someone's hat tonight. <laughs> and then McAllister just off to the side, boo! <laughs> boo! I didn't say it had to be someone at this party. There aren't many hats being worn at this party. Might make it more challenging then. Sure. Perhaps you do not like this dare. Perhaps you would like another. No. Your dare sucks! <laughs> I 
Uh, it does, yes, because I do not know how to respond here. <laughs> how about you roll for Brahm says a tantalizing dare? No. It doesn't <laughs> Well, there goes that. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you put it back to the chat? Please? When you're done with that, yeah. Thank you. That's good. Your dead sucks and you're leaving dead air. I know. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's okay. Pass yellow card. I don't know. <laughs> I... Trying to choose who. Trying to choose who. There's only like. McAllister, since you're so vocal. Truth or dare? Ah, fuck. Yes. The truth, and it'll be the devil's own. Whoa. Present at this gathering, how many were you hoping? to potentially spend the night with. Oh, this gathering? Yes. Who was on your list? You don't have to say who, just how many people were on that list. As in, the number of people who I would have engaged with. Yes. Tactically. Engage. I don't know about tactically, but if that's how you like to phrase it. Oh, you realize that several of the people here are members of the Golden Brain. <laughs> Technically, I'm their leader. <laughs> I didn't say you are going to, or you will. Spell okay, pain. McAllister, you can Sex. admit it. Yes. Sex. Sex. Yes. Six. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was rude. Sorry. Hush, I grew. I did not understand, though. But my apologies. Okay. That's very funny. Zeron. Zeron, truth or dare? Dare. Ah, oh, you Fiona. Always the same. I dare you to paint your next masterpiece out of this glow in the dark paint on someone who isn't your fiance. I hand him the airbrush. Oh. I hold up the airbrush. Oh, so that's why I brought out the paint. And Zeron like starts casting his eyes around the, the crowd as to like who it could possibly be. The canvas. Uh, I Does anyone want to make I... a suggestion or do I have to pick? Are there any volunteers? Sir Zeron must choose his canvas, as any good artist must. I'm bobbing out of the water, and I'm trying to show as much <laughs> chest as I can here. Um. Claude, come here. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, you're not being serious. It's the rules of the game, Claude. I'm afraid that there's no other choice. <laughs> Claude trundles over. And he looks directly at, at Zeron and just pops two buttons off his overalls and just... Oh. Oh. All of it just drops down to the floor. I think it had to be on Ready his Ready for uh, some efficient... Undressing. Hey, he's on the market now, you know? Gotta be ready. This is true. Sophia, truth or dare? Oh, boy. Dare. I suppose it would be unjust of me to ask you to engage in a painting contest. <gasps> I mean... We know that you are a better painter than I am. You may choose a better canvas. Rude. Oh, come on, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, canvases don't, don't speak. 
super rude. That's I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Claude some snacks and a drink. Kyoko, would yes. you consent to be my canvas? Yes. Where do you want me? Um, how about? Ooh, do like a do like a nice pose on this rock. We'll incorporate the rock into the painting too. Are you looking for something more dashing, or perhaps per a bit more shy, sheltered bunny? We're going for coy en enigmatic. Right. Maybe a little, a little bit of hair, like covering the face, like a little bit of half, kind of. Uh, she sits up on the rock. Let me just take some salt, yeah, I'll be right back. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> um, she sits up on the rock and um, she she looks up and there's a very small pout. I can't reach the zipper behind my dress. Allow me. Um, she just adopts a pose where she just has her hand just on one cheek, just looking with the hair across one of her eyes. Uh, Claude, meanwhile, uh, is just standing with his legs akimbo and his arms on his hips. He's so adorable. That's our oh night. God. That's our night. It's your turn. Oh, damn it. Ugh. Um. Patches, truth or dare. Again, all right. Um, oh, did you get asked you did? Yes, oh no, fine. I can have something else. It's okay, I've been dared to steal a hat at some point tonight. I will accomplish this eventually. You truth. said truth? If you were asked right now, would you join the Golden Braid? Oh. And McAllister's just like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and he he throws his clothes off and jumps into the pond. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Be and he <laughs> remains under the pond so that you can answer without him hearing. Ah. So if I take my sweet time, he'll just drown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whoa! Shit. What the shit? Boo! <laughs> 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 We were just getting sexy, and then you had to go political. Sorry. I've already oh, said yes unofficially, so I'll say yes unofficially again. Great. Thank you for your honesty. Sophia, I start painting you Brom's there. naked body onto Kyoko. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's horrible. Sister, truth or dare? Uh, by the way, could you um, could you roll me your perception empathy, please? Of course. For sympathy. No, sorry. Your yes. dexterity empathy, please. Oh, Ooh, no. dex empathy. Nice. Oh, that's fine. Okay, does this have anything to do with desires? Yes. Oh, good. What's your dexterity special? Do you have a dexterity specialty? No. No, damn. That would have been I interesting. I have three in dex for some reason. Other stats a bit more prior. Not all superhuman killing machines, apparently. Or climbing machine. Oh, that's one success. Hmm. Kyoko is um, trying to hide with her hand that uh, occasionally when your paintbrush uh, brushes across her back, she's biting her lips slightly. Uh, yeah. There's something that you've been wanting to say. Say it. What is, what is the thing that you've been wanting to say? This isn't a dare, this is a question. <laughs> you see, that's a dare and yep. that's a truth. Yep, yep. So he She's good truth. at the game, everybody. <laughs> I love my husband. And everybody else who decides that I should no longer love my husband can drop dead. You might have to go with the whole official remarrying. I don't know how the rules go. 
but uh, there's another wedding scheduled here first. It's more of a more of a renewal of vows. I look forward to it. Yeah, so do I. Where? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Truth or dare? Truth. Wait, that's McAllister. I mean, truth or dare? Truth. Do you ever consider that you might not want to be Liam? Yes, but I've also considered that perhaps we don't need houses. So I can get behind something like that. <clears throat> and then Michaelis is like, yeah, you can. <laughs> and the sister's like, I dunk him back under the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> like, so playfully. Around together. That's yeah, correct. you are. You're one of the six, aren't you? I love that McAllister's here. This is yep. the best thing ever. <laughs> Still dunking him. Granville. And Granville Did looks up from his conversation with Foe, Fox. It's not entirely mm -hmm. clear. <laughs> yes. Truth or dare? Dare. Damn, He's Fiona. What the fuck do you want him to do? <laughs> well, that's fair. I dare you to attend the renewal of vows between Talus and sister. There's this look on his face. It's just, it screams well played. Done. Excellent. Talus, I need something to dance to, please. Time to get freaking! <laughs> uh, Talus, Talus breaks out a flute. Aw, oh, shit. Um, do you mind if I borrow Mab? Of course. Mab, do you mind? <gasps> she might be a little tipsy, but she's, she's good to go. I'm not sure it'll matter. What she lacks in precision, she makes up for in enthusiasm in times like this. <laughs> That's how I sing, too. <laughs> uh, so the satyr's music starts to come out. It's a, it's a pan flute because he's a basic bitch. Uh, wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Uh, oh. and, and he starts playing. Um, and Mab listens for a little bit. And then she does a very passable job of picking up a, a, a harmony to it in the harp. And then Granville looks over and just sees Helena. Truth or dare? Well, truth, of course. Did you really want to move here to cross his shadow? That's a very good question. I... I have a few friends here, and I have a few people who I wish I could be better friends with. But truth be told, I'm not certain I want to be here unless I'm wanted. And I don't know the answer to that. So if I needed to answer, then sure, yes, of course, I would love to be here. You wouldn't believe how many times I've missed having certain conversations and late nights with certain people. But as for everything else, I wouldn't have an answer for you. And then she looks across and looks over. And then she looks to see the, the uh, Zeron's status, and then says, Zeron, I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I had your canvas speak for just a moment. And Zeron takes a step back 
and then he lightly places a cover over his creation and plays ghost. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a blanket over clothes. My good man. Truth or dare? Yeah. Oh, uh, truth, I guess. I mean, I can't do it there. I've already got shit all over my everything. <laughs> would there be anybody here who you would find to warm your bed tonight? Yes, of course. I'm very proud of you, Claude. I don't care if you're proud of me. I just, <laughs> I'm answering a question. What, what, what the fuck do you want? Brom, truth or dare? Well, I should make it clear that uh, first and foremost, I, I believe I am taken, Claude, but thank you. Um, tr uh, truth. Fala finally wanders out of the maze. Oh my God, Fala. A truth, huh? Brom. If you had to do it over again, would you, uh, would you have had your memories taken from you or not? I would. It's been... It's been a long road to recovering them, to learning more about who I was and who I am. But those things have made me stronger. And the challenges that we have all overcome together have strengthened all of our bonds. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, Sophia. Yeah. You normally wouldn't see this sort of thing, but Kyoko's tail is quivering just a little bit. Uh, I should also point out that the the good countess is currently dancing on the floor to uh, Talus's fat beats, as it were. Um, nice. Must they be? But she's dropping uh, an exceptional success in her dancing. So it's, it's somewhat captivating. Oh my god. I it's feel the best captivated. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, Talos is playing Freebird. Freebird. A classic, really. Uh, but Mab is playing Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> oh, and somehow they really go together. It's weird. They like match up almost perfectly. Uh, um, who hasn't? Oh, it's, uh, Fala is here. Yeah. Fala. Truth. Oh, good. You know what we're doing. <laughs> Just because it is a maze does not mean that the voices do not carry. I wasn't sure about the <laughs> thickness of the hedge. What does Patches do when that uh, sentence is uttered? <laughs> you! <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Don't give a fuck! A Patches beat! What does the Duke do when that sentence is uttered? Anything? He. He's a she, so. He absolutely has the perfect composition of a classic she. Also, he is not nearly as ashamed as everyone thinks he would be of what he just I did. don't think he's ashamed. I would want him to go like tee. -hee. <laughs> 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 Did I do that? Exactly. Did <laughs> you just do that? That's our dude Crandall. <laughs> That's our Crandall. Follow. And I emerge from the lake. I am nude, so I go to put on my tunic. Leave it off. I saw you say that. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that we and she just pushes her sarong off her shoulder and then and she wades into the water. She's starting to dance a little bit with the music as she does so. 
where is the place in the world that you would most love to live? At the side of a road, with the stars above me and the warm ground beneath. It is a very poetic answer. It is the truth. Nothing more. I wish my desires were quite so simple. Sophia. Mm -hmm. Truth. What is the best part of having Zeron share your bed at night? Oh. And then you hear this kind of like, ooh. Patches whistles. It's coming from McAllister, so I dunk him again. <laughs> it's always it's like a hundred years. He sweep kicks you under the lake. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> All eight long ass goat leg. God body. damn it. Cheating. Um, Zeron's was, pretending not to hear, by the way. But he totally can hear. He's so occupied with making sure that the other party is enjoying themselves that the absolute best moment is when he can no longer focus on that. And, okay, so the following happens. <laughs> Helena just <laughs> takes three steps and walks over to uh, to Sophia and literally just high fives her. And, um, and and at that point uh, you see that Claude just like looks down at him who's who's very delicately painting on his upper thigh and he just oh, is like nice. nice. <laughs> Uh, McAllister comes up. What, what'd she say? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear. It wasn't that exciting, Lord McAllister. We'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Splash. Does anybody else have any dares or truths that they would like asked of them? Speak now before we uh, go off to... Uh, let's say, let's call it free play. Uh, Zeron steps back from, from Claude, and he has painted Starry Night ah. on his body. Uh, one of his nipples being the very specific <laughs> moon. That's incredible. Um, so, Sophia has painted Brom <laughs> along Kyoko's um, body, and he's in Front or back? Like this. Sorry? Front or back? Uh, back. Okay. It's glow in the dark, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So my my face is on the back of her head? So... That's so creepy. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to make it so that your head is kind of on her neck. So whether you are, shall we say, getting amorous from the front or behind, you're looking at yourself. <laughs> I knew you'd do it. Joke's I on you, you because would. I'm not staying with anyone tonight. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm gonna close my eyes. Uh, Go have some full luffle on my own. <laughs> you can look yourself in the eye. Not that kind Certain of man. I would again. take one more. And Kyoko turns and looks back at Sophia. What would you like me to ask you? I want you to ask me something that normally I wouldn't tell the assembled people here. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Fala has swum up behind Brom, by the way. Oh, hello. This might not be what you had in mind. Um, you know that Brom has difficulty understanding what you're saying a lot of the time, and yet you play to this, and you tease him. Why?
This was the Kyoko that Brom fell in love with. Why should that change? And then she just grits her teeth a little bit. This is the Kyoko that Brom fell in love with. And if I do not continue to challenge him every day, if he doesn't work for this every day, then I'm worried that a troll might find more interesting duty elsewhere. And then she grits her teeth again. I really like teasing Brom. <laughs> he gets this look on his face when he, when he understands what's happening and, and he fires back in the most intelligent ways that you never get to see. And every time it melts my heart. When he, when he plays along with the joke, then he knows that he knows that I want to see that and that he wants me to be happy. And the fact that he can do that for me is such an amazing feeling. I want to kiss her on the top of her head. Uh, she shifts her painting a little bit as her body just sort of gets a tiny shiver through it. So Brom shivers as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're confused with the glamorous that it also, you know. Yeah, it's like a voodoo Brom. Oh. Wow. I will be right back. I'm thirsty. I am. You know. I was concerned you were going to be like, or sorry, I was certainly going to be like, Ask her about the time that she killed that guy. Why would I do that? Ask her about the time she felt really bad. Ask her about the time she lied to her husband. I was gonna say, what's the biggest part of Brom? What big, I'm a proportional human being. I'm just taller than the average person. Yes, I have a proportional body. His heart. Uh, Do your bronze so name. Who would be the worst and best person for Patches to hone in To on? go after? Yeah. Oof. Uh, best and most drama would be Foe. Just putting that out there. Ooh. Yeah. Actually, a lot yes. of drama. That would yeah. be fantastic. <laughs> Otherwise, I think McAllister would be hilarious. And I'd mm-hmm. 100% go for that. <laughs> you're officially sworn into the Golden Braid. Like, it's a now or never He's a satyr. Just saying. I... I already dealt with a satyr at uh, Sophia's Baronessing. It's true. I guess I meant more in the sense of his his stamina is legendary. Uh, mm, so. And handlebars. Yeah. Yep. What? Yep. <laughs> Horns. Yep. True. Uh-huh. All right. Y'all, y'all know me. Good. Yes, we are well. all on the same page. You're going for the two for one? Uh, one. no. No. But uh, I think those are the first two targets. I mean, uh, two two sexy times in one belt tank. So oh, one. well, I mean, why not three? Ha, <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 hey, what's the point of, you know, role-playing fantasy games if you can't do crazy shit? It's true. Exactly. This is a fantastical game, and we're fantastical people. Uh, worst for what it's worth would probably be uh, Charles if he's, he's available. He's not here. He's not, <laughs> not here. <laughs> it doesn't even. Oh go. shit! Oh, be there. Be it's still no, there. Yeah, Pesmukini and Kaylee could potentially be asked questions, but they're just oh, yeah. hanging on the periphery. I am not. Hey. I'm not turned up. Oh yeah, that's right. Pesmukini and Kaylee are on the periphery. They're just. They're paying attention. I mean, you can ask a guru what with their own happened? risk. Great catch. Kyoko answered her question. Cool. <laughs> Correct. Uh... Where's still dancing? 
Uh, yeah, I was hoping that she could like lure Pacificaniot out. Yes. Beam. <laughs> so she's directing some of this incredible uh, dance energy towards Pacificaniot. Yes, but also not being subtle at all in that she literally just points him out and then crooks her finger. She's doing like a come hither, like with the shoulders kind of thing. <laughs> no, she is just like, no, you now here. So just because it could be important, May, so May 2nd mm -hmm. would fall. It's a good question. That is a waxing gibbous moon. Or actually, no, I think it's a half moon. Hold on. I can tell you exactly what it will be. Uh, so it is, because this is actually important, folks. <laughs> this is Montreal. And on oh. May 14th, it would have been, so May 7th. It was full. The 30th, it was half. 30th, it was half. See, so that, that's a waxing gibbous moon. So I will point out that he is, in fact, Pezabikanid is, in fact, a, uh, um, a moon dancer. Um, and for the Galliards, their moon phase is the gibbous moon. So he is slightly on edge <laughs> tonight. Oh, you on chose edge. well, Countess. No, no, no. On edge doesn't sound like a positive thing. Wouldn't be Beltane. I'm just saying. Uh, Pezza McKinney definitely gets up, and there's a thing that um, that all werewolves have, which is a certain amount of animal magnetism. Mm -hmm. um, and as he just walks out onto the dance floor, there's this effortless um, aura of just pure sexual energy is just radiating off of him. Um, and he walks directly up to her. So I understand your name is Ware. Yes. Do you know my name? I've heard it pronounced once and I wouldn't be reckless enough to try it without hearing you say it. Passe's fine. Passe. And he just starts to dance. And here's the thing, I will roll this dance. Yes. Can I roll two? Can I roll two? Yes, you can. Well, you already did roll. Uh, I rolled myself at an eighth difficulty before because I forgot to reset it. So technically my successes were 12. <laughs> what? Okay, so no one else is doing anything tonight. We're all just enjoying ourselves watching the dance. Yeah, we've got hookahs, <laughs> pillows. I think that's about it. Really. I keep taking Salvia to just try to. God damn it. <laughs> no, I'm just like 12 successes? That's fucking You Sorry. rolled a lot of sixes. I... Oh, I see. Uh, Peasant Pekinian rolls seven successes. And he does his auspice happened. proud. Uh, he absolutely it? just goes for it. Um, mm -hmm. Kaylee is watching, and then Kaylee just sort of goes up to Sophia. Will she treat him well? Oh, yes. I think they will both have an excellent time. Mm. And then she looks at Zaron are... again, and there's a moment of just like wistfulness. Sophia's trying so hard to focus on conversation, but like she keeps watching the dancing. <laughs> so mesmerizing. Secretly a Toreador. Uh, uh, patches, Brom, anything that you're particularly doing? Uh, I'm gonna talk to Fox. Okay. Uh, McAllister, by the way, is at this point, um, has encouraged Helena to get up on his back to try to shove Fala off of Brahms. Nice. Golden Braid chicken fight. <laughs> And everyone's naked? <laughs> yeah, in it's the water. a little water. weird, frankly. It's okay, you're <laughs> in the water, so if you fall, it doesn't hurt as much, right? Right, and there's 
my body painted <laughs> on someone else's body. It's yeah, not that's weird. right. You're weird. Glow in the dark and waterproof. Yes. Yeah, it's alcohol based, so Wait, it ain't coming it's, off it's the water. Yeah, it's alcohol based. It's not gonna be off in the water. It's oh, it's gonna be difficult to take off. You're Thanks for welcome. killing my chances tonight. Sophia, I appreciate it. There's I also cleaning I, materials. I think I've added to your experience. No, I but think Yoko can have anyone subtracted from everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> I think more rum is good. But anyway, yes, I am. Uh, I am Brom, and that is also Brom Narg. Narg. <laughs> Did I say Narm? <laughs> <laughs> sure sound like arm, no, arm, no, no, arm. No. <laughs> I am uh, val- valiantly trying to knock Helena off her perch. All right, I'm going to ask you to roll me your uh, dexterity brawl at a difficulty of seven. Please, you're in the water. I have a specialty in grappling. Uh, this oh, isn't really a grapple. You're just sense. trying to knock her off somebody else. Okay. What if I bring a sword to this water fight? Uh, okay. Then you will be brought up on charges. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how all of your Beltanes go? More or less. It seems like fun. I mean, there's an awful lot of like concentration of power here. It mm-hmm. it's enticing and at the same time a little scary. Not gonna not gonna lie. This being a commoner freehold rank. Somewhat is uh, set aside when it comes to Beltane and certain other festivities. Politicking is more or less done for the evening. Is that what you were hoping for? Politicking? Did you come over here to politic? I live here. I don't. You're new here. You're a guest. People are having fun and you don't know any of them, so it's harder for you to get involved. What's wrong? I'm having tons of fun. Look at her dance. And then she gets to go home and I have to stay here. I got the bum end of this trade. This doesn't seem like fun that you'd like to participate in? She's kind of my boss. (laughs) That's not, come on. She's not your boss here in this party. Yeah, she kind of is. Didn't she trade you to Duke Granville for a clock? Well, I don't want to have sex with Duke Granville either. That's fine. But he won't care. What is this guy's problem? <laughs> It'd be a little weird. I've known her for a long time. We've. All right. Well. He may not be being entirely truthful. Roll me your perception empathy. Uh, Scott, what was your success on that? Five successes. Oh, uh, you. Helena, into the drink. I will take on all comers. And yes, I know how that sounds. <laughs> Detail oriented? And do you stand up no. out of the pond as you do it? So like... That is a double budge. What? What happened? You what? Uh, four dice, two ones. No other successes. Uh, Oof. <laughs> foe, foe may or may not have a, an intense, if not sexual, but perhaps, like, it could be sexual or it could be romantic, but he definitely has an intense relationship with Ware. <laughs> it's Beltane. Well. Uh, and that he's just keeping it on the DL. The very DL. You're welcome to participate in the festivities any way you like. But I'll uh, leave you to your dance watching if that's what you'd prefer. No, 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 I want to get to know you a little bit better. Well, you'll probably see me every now and then visiting Heart's Light. Assuming you've uh, uh, accepted the position. Oh, it's it's already been done. It's going to be a very nice clock. Good. Then you'll eventually... uh, Hey, this, by the way? And he angles his head at your shoulder. Mm-hmm. That's new. Yep. I mean, I know that this is a guy who you've only just met. It suits you. Thanks. 
You remember to apply your penalties to empathy, right? Yeah, that's why I only okay. had four dice. All, right. All perception. Uh, where? Mm-hmm. Uh, Pez McKenniot is looking to, uh, continue this dance by lifting Ware off the floor. Uh, she is somehow managing to continue following his lead that he had set, because she started following his type of dancing, and is not protesting being lifted up. Uh... This dance is being taken to a solar powered. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. She she follows his lead. All right. What? Oh, this is the Beltane I paid for. What? Someone has to pay for it, I guess. So you'll you'll come to know that I make frequent visits. Um, frequent, but visits nevertheless. Is there anything that I should know about? Uh, discretion is appreciated. I have nothing if not discreet. And, um... There can be a little bit of foe in what I say. Or there can be a little bit of fox. One way or the other. Feel like partying? Yes. Let's dance. Let's dance. Bennett, 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 Bennett. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Yes, everybody. I somehow copied over ah. all my other information from my older character sheet, but not my sex P. So I only have one right <gasps> no. now. Fala leans forward and, and whispers into Brahm's ear. You are indeed the most worthy of champions. I train very hard. As long as Kyoko has Brahm to herself tonight, is it possible to have Brahm to myself tonight? I believe you have a choice of Brahms. One of them seems considerably stronger than the other. Let's find out. <gasps> and it, <gasps> and it, she's okay. Well, yeah, if she's okay with it, I'm going to lift her off her feet as well, copying a sweet move from <laughs> Passive Attenuate. Is everyone just going to do what Passive Attenuate did? Like, I'm going to, I don't know, Copy over the shoulder? Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Look, Passive Kenny, yes. Passive Kenny, hot. <laughs> this hut belongs to Pesipa Kenyut. <laughs> stampy, stampy, no take backs. <laughs> he marks it. Sorry. Rude. No. <laughs> Rude, I said it. Uh. Zeron approaches Sophia. Have you had a chance to speak with the Duke? I don't feel like speaking with the Duke right now. What do you feel like? I feel like walking through the maze with my fiance, taking some salvia, <laughs> and celebrating the fact that he's a baron now. <sighs> Fine, I suppose that I could Accept good fortune. Good. And then he looks back, and, and Claude is, um, Claude is in deep conversation with Zister over something or other. Um, and is there anybody else who you want to cl cast an eye to before Beltane fades to an overall black? Um, I didn't want to actually ruin Kyoko's chances at getting lucky by painting Brahm on her, so, like, I would happily, like, help her clean that up if that would increase her chances. Just add a mustache. 
Ah, uh, yes. Michael. Evil bro. <laughs> yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta fuck that. I've seen the last of you. <laughs> Morb. Especially now that Brom's on the like, no one else is gonna wanna... I, uh, I will point warm. out that if at some point during the evening you attempt to assist Kyoko in removing her uh, in removing her body paint, she will attempt to remove your clothing. Right. Fair enough. Or at least she'll, well, she won't attempt. She'll, like, gingerly make a move and be okay with getting shot down. No. <laughs> if it happens. Well, as in, like, she's not, she's not, like, desperate for it. She was teasing when she was, like, you, like, made it so that. Okay, good. But you Because I think, because it... Sophia wants to spend the evening with her fiancé. Oh. I think that's entirely fair, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Pukajutsu! Uh, all right. Well, then, you wander off in the maze with Zeron. Uh, Fala gets to meet Brom the Hut. Mm -hmm. What about Patches? Partying with Phil? Is she going for a little upstairs downstairs action? If he's down. Okay, so, you know. Nice. You know what I'm talking about with the upstairs downstairs. Scott does. Yeah. Duke in the sheets. Um, Duke's assistant in the, I don't know, didn't work out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then I, I think that that's, that's how Beltane can, can pan out. Uh, now, and just to be clear, are Ware and Pazabakenia just, just going at it on the dance floor? And no, they went on the floor. No, oh, they, they went off to a Pesapikini hut. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Similar. Uh, I am, however, going to roll his rage. Oh my god, I can't. This is the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Erwin, you're fine. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, you're fine. And what about everybody else at the party? I want to yeah. know the pair ups. I want to know the pair ups. Magdalena. Cool. The pair ups. Um, sorry, I have to read this Pukajutsu thing. And Sophia reaches the she is first by eccentric <laughs> pan. Oh, God! That! <laughs> a sane one of them. <laughs> a strange accusatory tone. <laughs> Jinx, no! <laughs> don't, don't infiltrate my oh, game. <laughs> um, hashtag Jinx. Jinx is the best. Uh, if you need to know the pairings, first, I'm going to get to ask you questions. And then you get to ask me questions. That's how seems this works. Fair. Seems like uh, but uh, first we also have to thank Chief Knows 10,000 Things and congratulate her on her first sex bee. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you. This Hello. also means that I somehow managed to have a four-way in a three-way game. Absolutely not. Well done, Beryl. <laughs> I need a five-way if you count both of my rounds. Yes. That's true. Patches got it twice. Sounds like a typical Beltane. It's true. Little upstairs, downstairs. Oh my god. No, a little, the thing is quality, little quantity. Past the lion and up the tree. <laughs> oh my. Uh, it's oh. hard to make sexual innuendo jokes when it comes to the fae. Wait, a no, it's not. and then a little pee. The part of your pesky. <laughs> what? <laughs> Peek for Patches? Um, well, I, I hesitate to kind of ask, but what did you learn? Ooh. Uh, Scott? I learned two things. One, I learned why Kyoko is the way she is with Brom. Well, like, sorry, she actually said it out loud, which was, like, quite, quite lovely. Um, a lovely realization. That I, I just learned that she likes to challenge him to keep them together, in a way. I also learned that I don't know how to make a dare on the fly. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's no, completely fine, by the way. And totally, also no, no, for sure. You're but I was like just like a really nice person. You 
I want you to fuck the pizza boy. Yeah. Like, come on, like. <laughs> oh, yeah, done. It, it depends on who you ask, but like, there are people in the freehold who would be like, That's nope. Done. Nobody asked <laughs> done, Incisor okay. anything. Did somebody order a pizza? Incisor! Gosh, true. Jorex got the thing. She would have done strong anything. Truth. She would have, like, destroyed the freehold. That's what I learned. Kate? Uh, learned that the Duke isn't pissed, so that's good. And, um, that she's starting to come around to the idea of joining the Golden Braid. Mm-hmm. Not that she wasn't necessarily there, but still, having been asked again. It is a bit. Sophia learned that she wants to be a Countess in Cross's Shadow, but not not if that means um, bringing Zeron into a political situation that he wouldn't be comfortable with and not if it means that she couldn't actually go on quests and see things through herself so yeah, you so you've got some thinking to do yeah <laughs> you don't want to make it House hippo. No. Well, you've all you've answered one of my House questions hippo. each, so you can ask me one person each, and then if you'll let me ask another round of questions, then you can ask another round of people. Ooh, exciting! I want to know about Kyoko because I want to know who I had to look at from. Rude. Well, Patches would have helped her wash it off. Uh, Kyoko spends some time with Helena, but not to hook up. She eventually joins Brom and uh, Brom and Fala. Nice. Yep. Claude, I want to know about Claude. Did he have a good night? Let's find out. Oh. Claude and Kaylee, I ship Why are you it right rolling? now. I ship it right now. It's oh, gonna no. be a single die. Okay. Be amazing. I want chrysanthemum and Claude. Oh, Ooh. that'd be hysterical too. Mm-hmm. Claude uh, Claude after a long conversation <sighs> does end up hooking up with somebody it's Zister Flex no it's not I'm kidding, okay. I'm kidding. I had to, I had to. Uh, no, no, after... OTB. How dare you rip that, that away from that, me? Yeah, it doesn't mean they're monogamous. Like, come on, they can be an OTB. Uh, it's true. No, Claude, uh, Claude manages to find some time to go off with Kaylee. Yes! Um, and Kaylee uh, comes back with a, a mysterious smile on her face. Claude More looks cups. like he's a bit shell-shocked. Uh, <laughs> good. I think that's good for him. Is it? Though? I'm proud of him. <laughs> it's been a very long time for Claude. Yeah, it's and, good to uh, oh, knock back into the fray. And, and get back into spirit of the fray, apparently. Oh, very <laughs> good, sir. Very good. Nice. Um, McAllister. McAllister? McAllister does not end up hooking up with anybody here. Uh, he, he had six um, people on his list. McAllister has has people on his list, but he is also incredibly concerned with uh, um, using his power. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the people there were Golden Braid members. Um, and of the people who weren't, he uh, he was just involved in. He the thing is, he had a great time anyway because he just yeah. tells stories and gets really fucking drunk. <laughs> so that's good enough for him. But he doesn't need anything more than that. Uh, Kelly always has initiative, even in bed. Well. Falling touch in the streets, spirit of the fray in the sheets. Nice. <laughs> um, all right, let me ask you another question then, all three of you. Uh, Sophia, if Zeron was for some reason unavailable on Beltane because he was, uh, on a plane back to Montreal and just couldn't make it. Would you have tried to hook up with anybody else? You don't necessarily even have to say who, I'm just wondering. Uh, 
Yeah, I think so. Sophia loves Beltane. I think, and I'm happy to dis disclose that it would probably be uh, Kyoko or Incisor. Ah. Haley. Kyizer. Yeah. yeah. In Sioko? <laughs> uh, Scott. Yar. Yeah, oh, Pukajutsu, no. Pukajutsu, no. <laughs> Uh, Scott. Yep. With this wedding coming up, is there anything that you're particularly planning for Zeron's bachelor party? It's going to be really hard to top um, a wayfared uh, Ibiza. Um, it's going to be really difficult to top the, the various things from the other bachelor and bachelorette parties. Um, but I had an idea. I am thinking about a more local rural adventure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Kate, uh, Patches is adjusting to a new body as well as a new title. Um, considering that the Duke's propriety would never allow him to specifically make a comment about it unless she brought it up. Does she wish that more people noticed? No. Um, it's... You know, it's not like she lost her arm in battle or something, right? It's something that's changed. Um, so it's something that, you know... It'll, it'll get out the same way that her title got out, right? Right. It's not something, like she isn't a master craftsman when it comes to limbs and appendages. Um, so it's not something that she would show off. If she invests the time to make it better, more detailed, then she would show it off more. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, the three of you decide who you want to ask about I have to get something here. Okay. I want to know about incisor. Okay. Uh, who are we missing? Uh, Helena? Kaylee? No, Kaylee's with Claude. Right. Is this your Intellis? So that's probably an easy answer. Mm. Mm. Oh, chrysanthemum. Oh my god, yeah. Sorry, what was the question? I swear to god, if incisor and chrysanthemum I didn't get another one. Yes. Yeah, I think Saley is the one. Oh shit, yeah, of course. Brom, I'm not certain this is what I had in mind when I was when I was hoping for a bachelor party. I Yes. <laughs> oh, Sophia hasn't officially asked anyone to organize it, but she's hoping it'll be a Yuck. group. Haha, <laughs> Beltane Darren complete. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, anyway. Look, I don't have a job. <laughs> Budgeting is difficult. Did you have any other questions? I want to know about Incisor. Incisor goes home alone. Oh. Do we know about the whereabouts or the, the finishing resting place of sounds vaguely scary, of Chrysanthemum, our newest favorite reporter. Chrysanthemum? <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I took that particular tone of voice. Chrysanthemum? Uh, chrysanthemum ends up uh, spending most of the night talking with Talus. Helena? And then she fucks the shit out of Helena. <laughs> Actually? Yes. Okay. Sorry, you oh, did the yeah. sister thing. Uh, so. That was actually the plan. So you can ask somebody else because I. I think we ran out of people, didn't we? There's Grand. Oh, Saley. Saley. There's Saley. I don't want to know about Saley. Granville. <laughs> I don't want to know about Saley. What if Granville ends up hooking That's up fine, with Saley? That's fine, then I'll find out. Uh, 
if Granville hooks up with anybody, it is unknown as he does go home to Heart's Light. Saley goes home alone. There. Now you know about Saley. Uh, Aragorn, is there anything that you need to know about? I have no idea if Ware has any idea that she is with the werewolf at the moment. <laughs> That's a very good Fair. question. And uh, I don't need to know unless it becomes an issue at some point. Uh, you weren't formally introduced to him, were you? Mm-mm. So then uh, you would, I, I guess Ware would know that, you, that he would be important because mm -hmm. there aren't just other random enchanted mortals here, but that's it. Okay. Oh, our closest bingo. There's no way we could have done it. No, it did a good thing too. <laughs> that sucks. Although I will say, Sophia claims someone has passed forgiveness should absolutely be a free square oh, all the time. A female NPC has a name that starts with a hard K sound. That's chrysanthemum. Oh, yeah. Really sad, she her. was mentioned like before the game started, oh. and then now, like she had nothing going on during the whole game. And then Patches drew her weapon. She drew her shoulder. That counts. No. Had that. These guns. God damn it. Charming. Uh, by the way, we're just going to say that all of you will receive play of the game this uh, day. In particular. Nice. Lay of the game. Lay of the game. Lay of the game. Actually, you're all getting it because Aragorn got it. Nice. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yay. For. Risking life and limb. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was for tricking Granville into accepting Talus. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, also, also fucking good. well play you. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, well, hey, uh, I know that there's going to be some things coming up. So what do we have to look forward to? If people are at all interested in Continuing on with some fun adventures. I stream twice weekly. I mean, usually. Uh, and you can join me tomorrow uh, at 3 p.m. on twitch.tv slash bouse. We'll be doing something. <laughs> I have Nancy Drew on Wednesday at 3.30 this time. So it's starting a half hour earlier. We're continuing Nancy's mysterious letter. So that's Wednesday. Oh, that letter, it's so mysterious. How mysterious is it? Uh, Drew Crew possible. is a highlight of the week if you don't tune in for it, so. It's pretty charming. It's so fun. I put it on the background, it just makes that hour go by. <laughs> I consistently have a work meeting right during Ugh. it, and it makes me so upset <laughs> every single oh. time, because I'll get the little announcement and I'll be like, dang it. <laughs> can't pocket cheese me if I feel it. Damn it. Pocket cheese! Uh, does anyone have anything to announce between Wednesday and Friday? No. Uh, I may find a stream on uh, on Wednesday after Drew Crew. Potentially, we'll see. I'm not sure. I, I might stream this week, but we'll we'll find out. If if that's the case, I'll make sure to announce it on Drew Crew uh, as well. And then uh, Friday at six, we're continuing Horizon Zero Dawn. And. Sure that cutscene again. Uh, and we've set the next Punchy Book Club to discuss Saga Volume 5 uh, for June 21st. Ah, June 21st, the summer solstice. <laughs> That's right. So the longest day. Uh, we have to make sure that the audience um, show your appreciation for somebody who who jumps in when, when she can uh, to make all of our lives that much better. She who knows 10,000 things. Erwin is just the best. Um, Crosshair, I know you're running fast. <laughs> as fast as you can, and I know that it can be rough listening to more than one of these sessions at a time, but uh, we look forward to when you can return. Um, miss you. <laughs> Someone. I'm going to point out that we we continue to uh, keep this stream going and keep this stream as as much as we try to. I, I appreciate everybody running through our technical difficulties as we adjust to this new normal, but it is thanks to your support that we manage to keep doing this. Um, and believe me, your 
Your support through things like subscriptions and bits are fantastic, and we love it. It's your emotional support that actually keeps us going. So thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, you can join our Discord server. Our Discord server has tons of uh, this community if you just decide that you want more of it. People will sometimes, sometimes it'll be, get quite busy, sometimes it kind of uh, lets people have casual conversations, but it's there. Um, and it's a great place to go. Another great place is rpgclinic.com, where you can see the synopses for every single one of these episodes uh, dutifully typed out in a huge show of effort from Scott. Um, you know, if, you, if you've got people who are like, I don't know if I want to watch this because there's so many goddamn episodes, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Take a chance and just start. Yeah. It's okay. You don't necessarily need to have everything in the back to start um, getting interested in it. And, and hey, that, that may just be worth it for you. We've got a wedding coming up. Yeah, that's always good. We've got a Order of the Golden Braid trial coming up. Oh, yes. boy. That's going to be a thing. Uh, a trial that may or may not be designed by Braum. That's right. I'm thinking sharks. All right, Braum, let's get you out of here, buddy. Sweet. Done. <laughs> Sweet, let's go. <laughs> uh, but there's lots to do. Try. It's tough out there, folks. We know it's tough on us. Um, I haven't seen my friends. I haven't been able to do that except through the miracle of technology, which honestly is still pretty awesome. Um, but if you're feeling lonely at all, reach out. We're here. We like you. Uh, because in the end, even though it may not have to do with Silicon Valley and more have to do with a a puzzle platformer that was my game of the year in 2016 or something like that. 17? This is how we're going to get through this. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.